Yeti? Yeah, hello? Okay, that, you should hear me now. I don't know what happened. Um, so sorry. Yeah, that, that's a little bit annoying, but that should be okay now, hopefully. Hello, everybody. Um, just give me one second, because it's silent. Yeah, I know. Sorry, sorry. We've now started. Slauncha, Slauncha. On will Guelga August. No sound. Yeah, sorry, sorry. We're we're good now. We're good. Mm hmm. I'm gonna go into my own live stream. There we go. Sorry, I don't know why it does that. You know what? OBS, literally, like it'll be fine. I, I don't touch it, it'll be fine. And then like I come back to it, literally, not having changed any of the settings, not having done anything to anything. And then uh, I come back and like something doesn't work like the sound or the camera. Yesterday, I couldn't like for the life of me get the video capture to work um, for, for the game, you know? So, or the game capture, yeah, the game capture. That's what I couldn't get to work. And like, that's super annoying. But anyways, whatever, it's done. Hey guys, how are you? More Morrowind, yeah, exactly. Uh, there is an echo though. Really, is it like really bad? Hold on. Yeah, there is an echo. What the heck? Like, that's super annoying. But anyways. What? It's done. Hey, guys. How are you? More Morrowind. Yeah, exactly. Uh, is the echo, like, really bad for you guys? What the heck? Hold on. Let me let me try and um fix this a little bit. Technical difficulties, but that's all right. I'm going to delete uh the other audio captures, maybe. Wait. But, um, wait, hold on. Yeah, no, that's really weird. Part three of the luxurious Cheeto, exactly, exactly. Ta bitin guelga agam, nil me an guelgar, octame an vel avalta eglort as gailan, aham gatam. August to fain? Ta bitin guelga agam. Also. I did higher level Irish for the leaving cert, so there you go. Um, when it all else fails, hit it with a big hammer. Yeah, dude, I'm like about to. Wait, I'm gonna... That's really weird. Is is? Can someone tell me if the echo's like really bad right now? I don't know why the audio just decided that today that that was the thing that was like going to break. <laughs> um, it should be okay though in a minute, I hope. Hope I'm sorry. I don't know what the what the heck. Um, yeah. Wait. Wait. No, I've only got one thing capturing audio, so that's good. I did pass, but my teachers weren't teaching us anyway. When I was in um, in junior cert, I had the same teacher for geography and Irish. And she kept getting pregnant and leaving for my whole junior cert. So we had like kept having substitute teachers, which were not great. I don't think it's that bad. Let me just hear it again. In junior cert, I had the same teacher for geography and Irish. And she kept Hold on. That's so strange, dude, that there's an echo. Wait. Hello? What have I done? No les hagas caso. No les hagas caso si tienes echo. Está bien, pues. She kept getting pregnant. Yeah, dude. So, <laughs> no Irish teacher, no nothing. Uh, that's weird. Same thing happened with my geography teacher. She was pregnant four years out of the five I had her. She didn't teach us Irish. Where did you go to school? Maybe we went to the same school, dude. Do you know me? <laughs> All right. Anyways, let's get started uh, with the Morrowind. Do you plan to edit these into videos for the channel? I don't know. Should I? Because I feel like since we've got the VODs that are left up, I feel like the whole adventure is just a trip. So I just leave it all up. I don't know. I kind of I went back on on like the last two live streams and I thought they were pretty all right. Both of them to just leave as they are in like their current state. So what I might do is, is literally that, just leave them. Sorry, I have like hiccups. Um, yeah, just le leave them and then, yeah. 
who watches watches and who doesn't doesn't you know uh you went to mercy mount hawk oh no i went to school in athen rai years ago so yeah that was um that was there so no that's i don't know where mercy mount hawk is uh maybe a playlist for the vods then yeah oh a playlist good idea we'll do a playlist okay um i'm ready to get started with morrowind are you guys ready to get started with morrowind outlander welcome come outlanders let's do this so Yeah, hello? No? Hello? Is this good? Sorry guys, we've got so many difficulties today. That's okay, that'll happen, right? Yeah? Is it is it good? Can someone like confirm? Can everybody She was hit by the silence spell, yeah. Maybe she's just vibing to Nerva rising and the audio drop is intentional. Totally. There you are. Cool. We're good. Yeah. All right. Hey, thanks, guys. Okay. Well, let's get started. What's up? Oh, look. Uh, what a great start to this stream, seeing this face. You know what? Uh, I launched the game just before I started the stream just to check that the video capture was working or the game capture was working. And the first thing he said to me was that he likes having me as a friend. I swear it happened, but yeah, um, so we've got a pretty good friend, and I'm happy with my friend. Sounds good to me. Hey, it wouldn't be a Bethesda game without technical difficulties. <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't be a Morrowind stream without technical difficulties. All right, let's get back to what we were doing. I don't even remember. I think that uh, we lost an hour of progress the last time we were playing because I decided that I'm an acrobat and I can jump off and just live. Um, so yeah, I, I died from fall damage uh, and didn't save for a long time. But now I, I have given him the progress of truth. He gave me 200 gold again to go spend on whatever I want. You know, he's being a real sugar daddy. <laughs> I swear. Um, and then he just told us to do whatever we want. So I think, you know what? I went back on yesterday's stream, uh, the part where we were in Saran, and somebody told me that I can equip the key that I got and... No, I can't equip the key. Never mind. So yeah, we can't free the slaves in Saran yet because um, I wanted to, but I don't have a lockpicking skill high enough for that. And uh, the key that we looted wouldn't let me do it, which was so upsetting. The key didn't work. Even in the game world, gravity sucks. Yeah, I know. Okay, that's the moon sugar daddy. <laughs> uh, can you show your character? Yeah, we are a Khajiit named Cheeto. I've actually posted on my um, community section of the YouTube channel a whole profile for this character if you want to know the deep Cheeto lore. Um, so yeah, you can like uh, have a read of that before you get back to the stream so that you know kind of where we're at and what we're doing. So I think that, okay, there's a couple of things that we could do. Um, I have, there, there's a... Somebody told me about escaped slaves. So I've agreed to try and find Hajj A, although I don't know if I will be any more successful than the bounty hunter. BL has said he will reward me well, giving me a share of the bounty. He had heard that Hajj A had been hiding out somewhere around town, but isn't exactly sure where. So in Saran, there is a slave, um, and I don't want to find him for the bounty hunter. I want to find him to save him, because that's my thing. That's what I've been doing. I don't want to be giving up any of these slaves. Maybe uh, buy an unlock spell. Where could I buy an unlock spell? Uh, Biel is a bounty hunter. Yeah, so we could do that. Also, what was the other thing that we had? So, oh yeah, there it is. While in the House of Earthly Delights in Saran, by pure coincidence, was no intention of going there whatsoever. <laughs> I swear. 
Uh, I met a Breton named Derek Biel. He is a drunken slut, obviously hasn't showered in weeks and reeks of failure. Wow, he's like profiles this simp. That's amazing. Cheeto is based. Biel is a bounty hunter or former bounty hunter. For months now, he's been tracking a runaway slave, Hajj A. But uh, the slave has proven more elusive than he thought. He has been unable to catch him and has been unsuccessful at killing him and collecting the bounty that way. Uh, Derek has his guide, hides his eyes, have been in Saran for weeks, hoping to hear word of the runaway. So Hajj A. Uh, haven't heard of him. An escaped slave, you say, not from my shipment, and I don't have a lot of time to worry about that. Uh, all right, well, let's get back to Saran, and uh, let's search around and see if we can find this elusive Hajj A and help him out. Belmore, Major Guild. Yeah? Genuine cat folk and not furries, exactly. Please do not uh, mislabel me. Right, where were we? So from the Mage's Guild, I can buy an unlock spell. Let's actually do that, because I kind of want to open all those doors and, and let them all go before we find Hadje. You see, the reason that we're going off a little bit right now is because uh, KS Kusadis told me to do something else before he can give me more orders. I, I like that he has such a... He's so mistrusting of me, dude. Like, have I not proven myself to him? Have I not shown him my worth? Wait, does this ch chest uh, get replenished? Uh, restore Magicka... Uh, is this like the same stuff that was in here before? It's the Fighter's Guild chest I should really be checking for the fatigue and the health potions. Um, I want to be your slave. That's sus. Anyways, do you do you spell? Spell? Spells? <laughs> do you sell uh, spells? Let's see. Fuddle? What's a fuddle spell? Uh, let's see. No unlock spell from this person. Maybe the orc has it. You know what, this orc, we're on good terms now. Surely she'll have a better price for me and everything. Strong barrier resist. Nope, she doesn't deal in that. Let's see who else might have an unlock spell. Maybe you? You look like you pick some locks. Yes. Uh, fire shield. Levitate. Dude has a levitate spell for 400 gold. Should we? Should we buy the levitate spell? Um, it's got nothing else. I might get back to you. Oh, he's got water walking and water. Wait, open door? Hold on. He's got an open door spell? Is that it? Is that the unlock spell? Get a load of this guy. Oof, I can hear the mouth breathing through the screen. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for real. Um, that was a perfect chat reading moment. <laughs> um, oh, we got a simp here. We're not about that, dude. We simp in moderation, or we don't simp at all. Um, so, open door, yeah. But this one says, open 50 points for one second on touch. Those doors uh, were lock level 70 in Saran. Will this open door spell open a level 70 lock? Does anybody know? Gotta levitate just for the flex. Yes, yeah, so you guys want the levitate spell? All right, let's get the levitate spell. Where is it? Oh, I just... Yeah, you gotta be careful with the spells, because you just click on it, and he buys it. Jeez. <laughs> Alright, so the open door spell. Will this open? Um, the level 70 locked door? Or or do I need, like, a, a higher level spell? And where would I be able to get a higher level spell? Maybe in a different city. Because Belmora, I feel like, is a pretty, like, starter city. For sure, never disappointing to buy. No, it will not. Alright, well then let's leave it. Let's just go with the levitate spell for now, and maybe let's see if there's a different city where we can buy a better spell. So actually, if we travel this way, we can travel to a different mage guild hall. So for example, Aldrune. I haven't been to Aldrune before. Let's go to Aldrune and see if they sell a better spell. Oh my... Whoa! Yo, this is nice! This is so fancy! What? Why is the Belmore one not like this? Oh, I like it here better. I might just stay here. Yo, this is this is way better than the Balmora Hall. Oh my god, this is making Balmora Guild Mage Hall look like peasantry. This is awful. I mean, this is great, but yeah, this is also awful. Yeah, I'm with you guys now. Yeah, persuasion. Are you new here? I don't believe we've met. I'm new here, and I'm not going anywhere. Trust me. All right. Um, what do you want? Oh, okay. Well, you're not very welcoming. You look like you sell stuff, and you're wearing a robe. You're definitely a mage. Persuasion. Hello, Cheeto. My name is Vala Catrasso. I run a little class for outlanders new to Morrowind. You may find it easier to get along here if you know a little bit more about Morrowind lore. I'm also a priest. Happy to talk about my trade. The blight is weather caused by the big volcano, Red Mountain. 
that's all the Morrowind lore you've got. So she's here flexing the fact, you know, she's trying to Andrew Tate me into buying a course and all she's got, all the course material that I've just, you know, that I would would have paid for probably is uh, the blight is weather caused by the big volcano Red Mountain. I could have Googled that. I could have Googled that. Uh, so yeah, I don't care. I want to I wanna buy a spell. You look like a fine merchant. Finest potions and elixirs in town are right oh. here. We don't want potions or elixirs, dude. I want a spell. I shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be here. You're not a dark elf either, dude. We're both in us. <laughs> Get out. Okay, um, let's see. Do you sell spells? No, enchanting. Why? Okay, this place is cool, but all the mages are incompetent. <laughs> I guess this whole, like, fancy-ass guild hall is just, like, compensating for the fact that none of the mages can actually do magic. <laughs> um, fake historian right there, she's toxic MLM girly. <laughs> if you buy a levitate spell, you can make a targeted version of it and set it to its lowest setting. This turns it effectively into a slow spell because levitation scales its movement to speed off level. Oh, so I can cast that on somebody. That's pretty cool. There's a useless saying that's grass is green. I always use the lockpicking skill, but then keep the spells and scrolls for emergencies. All right, well, we, we, this is an emergency. We've got slaves to free. I want to free at least one of them at this point. It's going to be a little bit hard to choose though, but like if we're going to Saran anyway, because we want to find that uh, Argonian dude, maybe you sell those spells and I just haven't spoken to you. No, you don't. Yo, all the mages in here, I swear, they are just incompetent. Nobody knows what they're doing. Uh, they're all diversity hires. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, but they, they were just uh, brought here for, for no reason. <laughs> Hold on. This looks promising. Does this look like an environment you could buy a spell in? Yes. <coughs> okay, wait. Open door for 50 points. Dude, I came all the way here just so you can give me the same lousy spell. Well, that's not what I was looking for. Slow fall, silence. Yo, can I target silence on like everybody in Balmora so they shut up and stop like being mean to me? Night eye, telekinesis don't need night eye. I'm a Khajiit. Uh, yeah, all right. Well, your spells are useless. Training for the right I'm going to go back to Balmora. We got to get back to Saran. Have you tried this in VR? There is Warwind in VR. <laughs> There isn't more wind in VR. Shuki, thank you so much for the sub. Hey, we're playing the Elder Scrolls Dune. <laughs> Somebody said that the other day as well. Uh, this is why we make our own spells. Yeah, but well, I'm starting to learn my lesson. Cheeto's out here calling everybody incompetent, but Cheeto can't make spells either. So there you go. Oops. Wait. Oh, it's trapped and it's locked. What secrets are you keeping? Secrets should be against the law. Okay, um... Caldera. Maybe the Caldera Major's Guild. All right, I'll just give it one more shot. One more shot to buy a spell from somebody else. Look at this dude. No. Didn't even let this guy speak. Sleep. Uh, great Feather. I read Great Father. At first, great feather. <laughs> Yo, uh, Lord Madal, thank you so much for the donation. Love following the fantastic adventures of Cheeto. I really, really appreciate that, dude. Thank you so much. I actually wanted to talk to you guys about something um, while we're out here looking for the spell. So, the last stream that we did uh, got like partially uh, copyright claimed. And, uh, yeah, no, this Joker doesn't have it either. He's got a bunch of useless spells. So, yeah, I got partially uh, copyrighted. And that, to me, was very surprising because all we did was play Morrowind. And I didn't, like, put on, you know, any other soundtracks in the background or anything. You know, not even for, like, just anything at all. It was all the sounds were Morrowind, right? And in-game Morrowind, too. So we're in the game, whatever, we're doing the gameplay. And mind you, the first stream did not get claimed. The second one did. Um, so I had a look at exactly what was the part of the stream that they claimed. And it was Nerevar Rising. 
You know the one, Nervar Rising. That soundtrack, right? Um, I had a look into it, and it, allegedly, right, it, it's, it's pointing out that the copyright owner uh, is Leon Vanderstand. Now, this name might be familiar to some of you, and that is because this is the composer behind uh, works uh, on mods, Elder Scrolls mods. So, for example, uh, actually, he's worked on the Skywind soundtrack. So, they've gone and put that on Leon Vanderstand, as, as he is, like, the owner, even though he's not, like, the original composer of this particular track. It is Jeremy Sewell, as we all know. Uh, he has just worked on the mod. Now, I uh, don't think that he himself made this claim. I think somebody else did. I don't know if he's aware that this happens or if the Skywind team is aware that this happens, but um, it's it's a bit of a big deal to me because, well, first of all, I'm playing this game, right? We're doing this on this channel. It, it's it's all cool. It's, it's a little bit... Um, you know, there's, you, you can't just claim gaming music like that. It's just being claimed by somebody else who has nothing to do with it, really. It's, it's probably not even him. I really, really doubt that it's him. And he's probably not even aware that this is happening. But somebody is making money off of this. Uh, like, making money off of, like, my VODs. And I'm not. You know what I mean? It's like, oops, uh, I have to update Blizzard. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Um, yeah, so it's like... Shared... Oops. Morwen just crashed! Dude! All right, sorry, let's get back. Um, yeah, so shared revenue. Shared revenue is what it is. And um, yeah, that's, oops, we're back, sorry. We might be back to, wait, quick save? No, 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 we're back to case save. All right, whatever. Morwen just crashed, so we should probably save more often. We didn't get to Saran yet, so let's go. Um, yeah, so. <laughs> Everything is fine or whatever, but like if anybody is like, I don't know, it maybe in touch with somebody from the Skywind team, knows somebody from the Skywind team, this is just maybe something to make them aware that these kind of claims are being made on like independent Morrowind streams that aren't in any way related to Skywind, it's, it's literal Morrowind, but it's being said that the composer that worked on their mod is the owner. Uh, so I did dispute the claim, I'm still waiting to hear back. Um, this is a bit disruptive for me because uh, I don't know if all of you guys know this, but I was actually laid off um, at the end of January. And this channel uh, has actually been a big help in that, you know, it's 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 helping and it's something that like I hope maybe someday it'll support me even more. But if things like this start happening, like somebody that, you know, not doesn't even own the content starts like claiming the videos and stuff. Well, that's just, you know, it, it is what it is, but it's really annoying. So I don't know. This is just something, I guess, to be aware of that, that it happens, you know? The, no, the last save isn't an hour ago. We just started, so it's all good. But yeah. It auto-claims them. Yeah, it auto-claims them, but also it's being auto-claimed by people who don't really have a claim on it as well. Like, I don't know if this is a YouTube thing or a what thing, if this is something that maybe S Skywind should be aware of. Um, it's somebody's channel on YouTube that has this in their YouTube studio in like those sections. So somebody is claiming this revenue. The money is going to somebody. Whether or not YouTube like does this, somebody else is getting the money. And like, you know, oh, I'm a sleeper among thousands. I bring you a message. Dagoth Ur calls you Cheeto and you cannot deny the Lord. What? He's not calling me? I don't have a phone. What a joker. Oh, do you know my- Oh, okay, wait. The father of the mountain, he sleeps, but when he wakes, we shall rise from our dreams, shall sweep our land, clean the Enma. Have you denied him? As Lord Dagoth has said, all shall greet him as flesh or as dust. Yeah. That blows, but what? Yeah, no, it's really helping a lot. And I don't just mean the people that donate, but by the way, thanks to all the people that donate. That's really, really nice. And uh, it, it really does help. But also just like you guys being here and viewing the stream uh, makes a difference. You know what I mean? So like regardless, something happens, something is there. But when it's claimed, when it's straight up claimed by somebody that like has nothing to do with like, you know, the original game and whatnot, and it, it isn't really them. Like, it's it's for a mod, you know? So, 
it's not it's not good. It's not great. So it's it's currently because I disputed it, it's currently on escrow. So I'll see. I'll see what the decision is at the end. Would you consider to record voiceover for a mod? Is my voice like uh voice actor worthy though? I don't know. Do you know anything about this Argonian dude? I don't trust you enough to talk about that. So you do. Alright. Alright. Let's let's talk. Admire. Oh shit, he hated that. That's crazy, get lost. <laughs> I just got told off for simping. Alright, I'll give you the gold. I suppose we can talk more. Yeah, yeah. I didn't think you were that sort of person. Yeah, just take the gold, dude. None of that, like, uh, oh, suddenly I've got morals. You want the gold. Shut up. All right, now tell me. Yes, I've heard of him. Couldn't tell you where to find him, though. Ask Dranas Sarathram in the slave market. He's, oh, sure. I know where the slave market. I could have gone there. Care to trade. Them shoes look nice. Oh, yeah, I actually do care to trade. I think you're like a general trader, so I will sell you general uh, chatarra. Yes. All right. I'm about to get back all the gold that I just like spent on this dude. Um, you know what? I don't want to sell him like the most expensive items though, because I think that I can get a get a better price with somebody else. So I'm just gonna sell some stuff to like get the weight off, but I won't. I won't overdo it. Um, yeah, maybe I'll just leave it. I'll actually go back to Sedanine later and sell. Goodbye. I can still remember how this game made me feel the first time I played it. Dude, it's such a like magical feeling. I'm playing it now, like a lot of this I'm experiencing it for the first time as well. You know, like I've obviously been through parts of the game, but a lot of it I'm I am seeing for the first time, so it is very magical. YouTube's copyright system is absolutely broken. It's almost definitely some automated system. Yeah, and that sucks because like, you know, somebody and somebody who maybe doesn't even have the intentions to like take the revenue for it ends up taking it because of the system. Is that the slave house? I think it is. I just need to wait. No, it isn't. I have the map of this place so I can just check. Guard tower, earthly delights house, Seren, Oran Manor. Where was it? At. Oh wait, the slave market's like back that way. Damn. Do you like Fallout? The only Fallout games that I've played- I've played a little bit of Fallout 4, not that much, but uh, New Vegas. I like New Vegas quite a lot. I've also never finished New Vegas uh, as something that I would love to do at some stage. Yo, maybe I shouldn't do roof hopping and stuff. Speak quickly. Speak quickly. Is she going to enslave herself? No, I'm gonna liberate all the slaves. Well, I need to ask about- uh, I need to ask that dude about my Argonian friend, because he probably knows where he's at. Yo, what's up? What do you want? What do you want? Had a- Oh hell yeah, more morrowing, yeah! Um, I said people have been complaining about YouTube copyright systems since the dawn of time and no one ever fixed it, yeah. Uh, haven't heard of him. An escaped slave, you say? Not from my shipment. Gets tough to track down Argonian slaves. They're clever and fast. And other Argonians aren't likely to help. That makes it tough, though. Should I give him money? He hasn't heard of him? Shit. Alright, let's see. He doesn't know any escaped slaves. It's often difficult. Wait, as few non-Argonians can sleep. Oh, right. We need to speak to Argonians. I've just given them money for no reason. I knew this as well. Silly moment. Actually, I'm gonna load my quick save because I think I quick saved before I got to the slave market. Yes, I did. So I'm gonna get my gold back and I'm gonna ask some Argonians. Let's meet some Argonians around this place. Were there any Argonians in the naughty house? I don't think so. Let's see about this place. Definitely not an Argonian. Look at that. That's so pretty. My time that kind of looks like my shirt. <laughs> um, look at how pretty all these things look on the table, dude. I know I've already done a video about this, but I'm just like obsessing still. Um, ask him about hides, hides his eyes again. Oh, hold on. Yes, I will. Wait. Good tip. If only we could play Fallout. 
Taunt him till he attacks you. I'm pretty sure I should be able to like speak to some Argonian though. Like there's gotta be some Argonian residents out here, right? Look at this dude. Why are you standing here shirtless? Red Mountain spreads ash and blight. Sinners gather at the house. The time of the incarnate is at hand. Right, alright, another one of those. Okay. Um Yeah, also not an Argonian. Ooh, look at all this. A glass dagger, you say? Yo, what have you got in here? 28 gold. Yeah, that's not, not a whole lot. Oh, bargain potions. I got an idea. Can I just like hide from him? No, he can see me. I kind of want to take the potions. Cat want to do crime. Steal that dagger. Like, right, like, like this, dude? You just want me to, you know, just want me to do this? <laughs> Sorry. Um. <laughs> Yo, Alex, thanks for the follow. Thank you so much. Yeah, let's get out of here. It's kind of crazy that Morrowind and Terrace look more real and lived than Oblivion or even Skyrim's world does. I wanted to say Morrowind has, like, peak interiors like they're actually amazing i love them so pretty so beautiful it also looks cozy as heck like look there's like and they take care as well there's like interior design you know they've got like the tapestries on the wall uh they've got the the plants they've got everything kind of set out very neatly there's stuff on the shelves it all looks very nice look at these rugs it's, it's all just so cozy looking and he's got his business right here or she does i'm sorry I'm sorry milady um or just buy it, it's cheap. I don't even really want it. I think my steel sword is better. There is not a single Argonian in this place. You know what, I will have to pay that dude and I will have to ask him about hides his eyes like somebody suggested in the chat. So let's do that. Let's let's give him money again, unfortunately. I've always loved how inventory items looked in Mormon, even when you said- Yeah, yeah. That's it, like that's the level of detail that I was talking about um, before. It looks crazy good. In my opinion, it, it's it's peak. It looks very, very, very good. All right, I'm sorry, let's speak again. So I'm gonna give you some gold and you are gonna tell me about hides his eyes. Don't know him, Argonian, right? Sounds like Argonian, not his real name, of course. Well, of course, it's just a translation of the Argonian, from the Argonian. That would translate to something like Hajikius or Hajishius, maybe Haj A. Literal translation can get a little awkward sometimes. Most folks don't bother to learn the language of these savages. They find it too hard to pronounce. For me, though, it makes business a little easier. So he... All right. Hey. Yes, that's the one. That's one of the names I mentioned. Could just be a coincidence, I suppose. So Hatch A is Hyde's eyes. Oh, the plot thickens. Dude. I'm pretty sure the guy gave you the quest, the Breton guy can actually lead you to the Argonian you're looking for. Let's go shake him down. I know he's busy in the House of Earthly Delights, but you know what, simping is a sin, so let's get him out of there. Let's make him a better man. Let's andrutate him. No, let's not. <laughs> let's do something better than that. Who is attacking me? Khajiit is innocent of this crime? Does, does anyone else hear the battle music? I am not involved in the chisme right now. I am... I'm, you know what? I'm gonna go about my day. In the House of Earthly Delights. Yeah, that's right. Uh, where is he? Yeah, hi. Uh, alright, so let's see. Wait! No, I just exposed him! No, wait a minute! No! You know what I did? I just, I just sold him, I think. Our, our, we, thank you so much for the sub, welcome. Cause he's like, well, don't that beat all. How about, how about that? Maybe you've been spending a little time in the bottle as well, huh, friend? Psh, okay. Here's your reward, wasn't that much anyway. Plus I've got good credit place, barkeep, another one over here. Did I just, did I just sell my, 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 my slave friend out? Did I do that? Yes, friend. Oh no, I don't want you calling me a friend. Honestly, I, I, I want to be friends with anyone but you. Let me actually load the quick save. Because this is not a decision. You know what? Good. I am loading the quick save because I'm not letting this egghead. Um, no, absolutely not. That's not happening. We made a mistake. Pretend that we died, guys. We died. We're loading our save. Yeah, yeah, we're cool. We died. This is lore unfriendly uh, to Cheeto. He would never do that. 
Let's try something else. Let's see if there's anything else I can do. Because this, yeah. So let's pay this dude again. Let's get him to give us the dialogue about the fake name. What do you want? Alright, let's see. Not his real name. That's it. That's all I needed to know. Oh no, I accidentally engaged in slavery help! <laughs> Today's topic, slavery. Yeah, you know that one video? <laughs> uh, that we are not cool. Cheeto died from the shame. Yeah, Cheeto like spontaneously combusted after he realized that he helped that Jeff Bezos looking dude um, get his slave. Yeah, Talvani gang reporting in. Where's slavery? Nah. Let's see if he can... Um... Let me ask him about hides his eyes. Good fella, that one not worth a damn, but good fella. Took me all over these parts looking for a slave. Showed me this place too, so he can't be all bad. Seems to like the trade house in town. That's where he's at. That's all I needed to know, thanks. Loser. Um, Vardenfell gets everyone in the end. No. I will not be engaging in, in these heinous activities. Where is the trade house? I need to go to there. I am... Cheeto has a moral code. I know he's stolen, okay? I know he's been a thief, but he did it for good reason. Is that the trader? No. Clothier. Trade house. Trade house. That's it. So, let's go up. Clip it. Clip it, chat. Clip it. Get out of my way, dude. Put on a shirt. God. Have some sort of decency. <laughs> out in the middle of town, just, just strutting around. Are you not cold as heck, dude? Remember that Nord that wasn't wearing any clothes? And he was like, I'm so cold. I will listen, Outlander, but make it quick. You should get out of my- Dude, again this Joker with his fucking Dagoth Earth propaganda. I do not want to hear about that right now. Where's my friend? Hides his eyes. I don't trust you enough to talk about that. Maybe for... Don't know much about it, he must be new in town. Oh fuck you, dude. I just gave you money. Hides his eyes. Where are you at? You sleeping on the job? That's not the wooden bowl, is it? Still looking for that, by the way. Can't take that candle, that's disappointing. What to do, Morwen Short? <laughs> Wait, where am I? Oh yeah. Yo, why did I just get out? No, I don't want to get out. Hey! Is that you? Summoned by a man. Hello! Questions again. The slave trader, bad man, hunts down my people. You found my secret, you did. I'll try not to- I'll try not to hide it from you. I am the one with the bounty- I am the, the one the bounty hunter seeks. What of it? He would take me back to the slavers. That is not for me, so I dragged him around the wilderness for a while. What of it? He- does he not deserve it? The drunken fool. And he paid me well, so you know my secret. What will you do with it? I will not tell. Your secret is my secret, dude. I'm honor bound to tell BL what I've learned. Yeah, that's such a cringe way to, like- if anyone here chose this, yeah, cringe. So your secret is safe with me, friend. Yeah, great. And what about you? Anza, what's your name? No trouble at all, Cheeto. I'm not busy at the moment. What can I tell you about Saran? Busy trading, but yeah. All right, that's all I wanted to do. That's that's cool. We, we saved him. Waiting. Oh, get out of the way, dude. There's an anti-slavery faction you can join. What's it? You know what, I'd ask you. But I actually kind of, kind of want to discover it for myself. Just because so far everything that I've learned like this by myself has been like more fun, you know, because I, oh, I, I like stumbled across like this information and I found this. So I think that that's a lot better than just like you guys telling me, go there, do this. You know what I mean? So I need help playing mage first time. I get my ass handed to me by the ash zombies. How do I get more damage with my spells or get some more resistance? Well, you're definitely asking the wrong person because, um... I'm a noob, <laughs> but uh, I'm sure you can find some great guy. There's a lot of really good content creators right now, especially like there's new content coming out around uh, Elder Scrolls. So I would say that uh, you'd probably find it on YouTube or something. Uh, is there a silt around here? I kind of want to go to Sedanine because 
I want to sell my stuff to that guy who gives me a lot of money for helping Fargoth that one time. Is it wrong that I love you? Yes. <laughs> Travel. Uh, Vivek Sedanin. Yep, that's it. That's exactly where I'm gonna go. Jump scare. Oh my god. Look at Fargoth strutting around. Did anybody see him there? I wonder if he's realized all his money is gone. Hey, are we still friends? I don't believe I've seen a Khajiit with such a grand outfit in some time. Can I help you? Oh, he likes me because my outfit is good. All right, let me go. Do you give no praise to the tribe on Morn? Who said that? Lies. You know my name, not my story. By a spell making. The worst she can say is no. I mean, yeah. I could say a whole lot more than that. <laughs> Uh, all right, barter. Let's see. So, yeah, let's see. Yeah, this guy's giving me more money. He's giving like like more than half for that. So yeah, definitely. Um, good choice going to you. What is this? Fortify health. Oh, can I wear more than one ring in Morrowind or no? Um, what else do I have? Miscellaneous. Should I be selling diamonds and shit? I, I probably can use them in, like, alchemy, right? Or not alchemy. What can I use them in? Uh, you know what? The I'm just carrying around the, the 36 lessons. I can write the 37th lesson by myself. Thank you very much. No need for the 36. Okay. Well, you're gonna give me a good bit of gold already. Spark, arrow, bolt. Wait. Maybe I'll sell them the bolts. Like, I'm just carrying this around for, like, no reason. Yeah. Thank you. Please feel free. Talk Two rings, I think, right? Let me see. I'll try put on another one. So we've got, um, magic. We've got the ring of fireball, so I can do fire damage on target. Oh, that's actually pretty nice. I really, really like that. There's also shard bolt ring. This is not a bad ring, the Ring of Fireball. Lifestone, fortify health, 5 to 20 points. And this is fortify 1 to 5 points. Oh, yeah, this is better than my engraved Ring of Healing. Oh, no, wait, this is restore health. This is fortify health. I'll keep that, maybe, just in case. I'll put the Fireball Ring on as my second ring. But yeah, you've got a lot more fingers than just two. I mean, I could probably wear 10 rings, but you know. Oh, wait, no, but I've got paws, don't I? Oh no, well, he's got plausible thumbs. Never mind. Um, two rings. Your character is very traditional and only willing to wear one ring per finger. <laughs> Cheeto's traditional? Alright, let's see. Well, who else can we help out? I think that we should probably go back to Balmora and see what the next thing is that the Fighters Guild wants us to do. Because that's kind of where we started, and I think the Fighters Guild is probably the most beneficial one for us to keep going with. Ariel's also becoming the ring plug. <laughs> Let's go back to Belmore. Let's go to the fire skills. Right, travel. I do remember um, that this ginger woman wanted me to steal some code books, but I don't think that uh, I've asked her about it since I lost that save. So I need to go back and I'm going to ask her about it now. If anyone's looking for some truly top tier Mormon lore, you should look up Apol Apos. Apostolic Majesty. He did a, sh a stream on Morrowind a few days back and it's astoundingly good. Great, thank you for the recommendation. Yeah, the gems are too valuable for alchemy. It's better just to sell to sell them. It's better just to sell them. Alright. Hold on. Major's Guild? No, I wanted the Fighter's Guild. Let's see, let's go upstairs. Alright, I'm listening. Don't look at me like that. What's this all about? So, advancement, please. I'm now Cheeto the Apprentice. Thank you. Orders. I need someone to return a codebook that belongs to our client. The codebook our client wants is in the hands of Sotilda at the South Wall in Balmora. Find that codebook and bring it back to me. Wait, she was a bit sus about the codebook, though, because I asked her about it before, and she was like, 
She's Thieves Guild. I take full responsibility. And listen, I'm Guild Steward. When I say jump, you ask how high. Keep that in mind and we won't have any problems. That, to me, says that this is... I don't know. I don't know. Does anyone else know about this freaking code book? Do you want to ask... Fighters Guild... Maybe, maybe the dudes downstairs will know about it. Fudge Muppet is the goat of Morrowind lore. I love their um, podcasts um, that they've done. They've got a playlist of podcasts if anyone hasn't seen it. So good. If you're like even doing stuff around the house, especially. Wait. Um... Oh, you already gave it. Yeah, do a puzzle box. What? Yes, I'd forgotten. Here's a Dwemer key I made according to the instructions I found in the puzzle box. I had no idea what it's good for. I can go back to that Dwemer ruin now, and I can open the door that we couldn't go through before, because it was locked. We should do that. You know what? I kind of want to do that, too. Let's do that. Does anyone else? Yeah, this, this code book business is kind of sus. You don't need to know about anything. What? Who? I don't know what you're talking about. I had this in my hand when I came in. Didn't I, chat? Yeah, I did. That's right. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, exactly. This was mine. This was always mine. There's a bit of corruption in the fighter skill. It's really interesting on the quest play. Oh, so it is sus. Oh, so it is sus. Talk to the former guildmaster. The former guildmaster. Where can I find the former guildmaster? Tito the candle snatcher. I have to do it. I have to do it. <laughs> That's it. We got it. I think you would fit in well with the thieves guild. I think so too. You know what? She said that that person that has the code book is Thieves Guild. Maybe we can, uh, you know, put in a good word for ourselves by not taking the code book and also snitching. Could I snitch? I should snitch. I should snitch, for sure. Alright, let's go back here to this silly little Dwemer ruin. I wish light sources lasted longer on Held in Morden, considering that they last forever on the ground. Preach! Oh my god. I wish I just had this forever and ever, dude. Look at how cool it looks like. Look at him! This is- this- I'm sorry. This is like peak drip. The candle is necessary for the drip. The candle is not optional. Candle army rise up. I'm- I'm- I'm, and I'm just- I'm happy as long as it's burning, you know? Life is good. Everything is great. Like, I can see the way forward, you know? It's literally illuminating my way forward, and I just feel like I can do anything while I've got this candle in my hand. I am indestructible, invincible, brilliant, marvelous, amazing, you know? Yeah, all these good things, man. I can save Morrowind. I- I can do this, dude. And now suddenly life has gone dark and I don't want to do anything. Everything sucks. Boohoo. No, let me in! Nobody tell her about the Pilgrim's Lantern? You have my attention. I am all ears. Alright, so where did I go before to find that door? Now that I'm thinking about it, the kobolds from World of Warcraft going, you know, take- Dude, Cheeto must have some sort of relation to the kobolds. I never thought of it that way. Now that you've said it though, he's like some distant kobold cousin. Which is ironic, because they're like technically like rats, right? <laughs> Alright, so the door I think was actually that way. I I'm pretty sure I remember it correctly. What race slash class are you playing, Angelica Tosh? So I'm a Khajiit, and I'll just show you my build, what we went for. So I remember- wait, which way? Yeah, this is it. So we went for um, speed agility, mostly. 
Uh, for our major skills, we have athletics, light armor, short blade. I put marksman, but I kind of regret doing it now because we actually haven't done any <laughs> marksmanship and unarmored as well. Um, yeah, so that's it. And then minor skills, I've got sneak, mercantile, block. I probably should have put like sneak instead of marksman, to be honest. That, that would have been like way better. I've got block, mercantile, long blade, and alchemy. So yeah, this is this is the build. The class is called Flamin' Hot Cheeto. So yeah. The Dwemer Ruin is my worst enemy. I spent so long trying to find that cube. If you go back to the first live stream that I did uh, with Cheeto, you will see. All right, let's uh, prepare ourselves for this because I actually... Can I wait? There's enemies nearby. Have I not, like, annihilated everybody in this place? What? All right, let me just walk out of the door for a sec. Uh, let's wait to get our fatigue back and let's go back to that door. Because I uh, I don't want to use any... I could also levitate, but yeah, that's not the point. I need my I need my fatigue. Cool, <laughs> cool beans. Uh, damn, YouTube algo delivered good content, finally. Oh, I'm glad you're enjoying it. Dude, enemies nearby? Where? 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 You are exaggerating. Cheeto is now paranoid. Ever since we took fall damage and died and lost- Oh. Huh. Yo, shit, what a jump scare. <laughs> oh my god, I actually got scared. Do I have a fatigue potion still? I, I probably don't. I actually dead ass used all my fatigue potions. No, I didn't. I have three. Quality. Oh god, okay. Yeah. Hello. Let's get down on the same level. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, swinging that like I know what I'm doing. All right, two gold. Pathetic. What is this? Steel dagger. My one's better. Yeah. All right, now I can definitely wait. No, I can't. I Why haven't I been up this way? Yo, this door is trapped. Is this door gonna murder me? I do remember there being trapped doors in this place, actually, the first time I played. I have no idea how I didn't discover this, but I'm kind of glad we didn't find it that day because I would have gone all this way and not found the cube. Hmm, a Morrowind enemy. They're in the walls. Enemies in the ruin. This door is trapped. What do I do? Can I, like, sneak? No, that doesn't work. Uh, all right, I'm gonna save and if this trapped door murders me, well then, that's just... Yo! Oh, maybe this is the trapped one. Ah, you see, they're double doors. So if you open the, the right one... Oh, cool. Oh, this is a horrible bed. Damn. Dude. You need to probe to this here. Oh, I don't have a probe. This one's trapped and this one isn't. Alright, I should probably take better care of the doors that I'm opening and like pay more attention. Whoa, what is that? Oh jeez, you've got a spear. I'm not gonna let you do that to me. Yeah, that's right, Al. Deservedly so. Look at that. Spear. How much does that weigh? 14? Uh, I'll just take it. I'll throw it out if whatever. Do I have my mug? That looks sick. Um, thanks for the follow, only hatchet. Welcome. What is this? Wow. Yeah, I remember being here and looking for the cube here when I first played this game. Uh, my dad once beat me mercilessly with its set of jump cables. <laughs> Wait, dude, what? <laughs> Alright, you guys are wild, because you know what? We're sitting here, we're playing Morrowind, we're chilling, you know, emotional support candle, and then some dude, like... Just, just... Gets over here, right? And, um... Straight up, lies down on this bed and goes, It all started when I was born. <laughs> dude. Uh, what does the trap do, in theory? I think it, like, zaps you or something. I... Remember we opened a chest. Um... We opened a chest before. And... It zapped me. And it nearly killed me. Remember in that one cave where I was killing the Tilvani agents? I gotta get out of here. Oh, this is the way. Alright, this is where I wanted to go. 
My bad, a bit of a trauma dump, my lady more. <laughs> You're good. Uh, okay. I want it to wait, but I can't. We're back to square one, and I took like the quality- I can literally just stand though when the fatigue comes back. Let's just- let's just chill out here for a bit. Let's not walk. Look at this, what is this? Damn, the Dwemer were innovative. Also, they've got writing on the ceilings. Is that writing? That's definitely writing. It kind of looks like, um, Arabic letters, right? A little bit. Or am I the only one seeing that? You see like that bit right there where my crosshair is? If you look at it, like, it kind of does. And this looks like what was uh, on the One Ring. Talvani agents, okay, sure. Yeah, yeah, were they, were they not Talvani agents? The ones that we killed? I'd let Cheeto be my therapist. That would definitely be a good, a good choice. Imagine lying down on like them therapy beds and this is what's like, this is your, this is what you can see. This is your, yes, yes, child, tell me all. <laughs> all right, let's do it. Oh shit, okay. We're gonna be careful. What is this? Yo, no way! The essence of the Dwemer ruins is now coming to life. Centurion spider. Here we go. This is where the shit's gonna get real. So I'm actually gonna save over my main save like I've been doing. Yep, I do. I think Dwemer are based on Mesopotamia. I'm pretty sure I've heard that, um, like, expanded on before as well in some video. Um, that doesn't look very Tang... Ten war ish to me. It looks more like Devangari script or Morgolian script. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, these dudes. I hate you guys. I absolutely hate these dudes. Wait, is that a ghost? Okay, wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna. Oh, God. Yo. Um. Well, I don't need a health potion yet. Alright, I'll let you run out of mana. Come on. Do it. Wait, where's my silver sword, actually? Um, because he's a ghost, so... Oh, I'm missing a lot with this. Uh, perhaps Fireblade is a better option? Let's try Fireblade. Um, and I'm going to drink a health potion. Cheaper store health. Yep. Let's drink the other one as well, fuck it. Yo! I got bodied right now. What? Okay, let's let's try this again. Let's see if I can get like just the Centurion to come over to me without that guy. So I can deal with them one by one. Actually, you know what I could have done? I could have gone out that door because they don't follow you in the door this game, so. Right. Let's see if he can come over by himself. Oh, maybe this guy will. Wait. All right, wish me luck, guys. Fireblade is the shit, yeah. Hold on, let me let me put it back on. Where is it? Fireblade, yeah. Sneaking around. That's a chest, that's got treasures in it. I kind of want the treasures. Oh, uh, no. We're, we've engaged in combat! Okay. It's cool. We're good. Come over here, without the Centurion. Look how he runs, dude. You'd never make it as an athlete, I'm sorry. Yo, okay, right. They've, they've ganged up on me now. Hold on. Let me take a step back. I think I should kill the Centurion first, and then run out, and then come back. Right, let's see. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Did I kill it? Yeah, I did. Right, I'm out of here. Dude, I wish I knew where the other enemies are so I could just like rest out this door without having to drink any potions. Right. We'll chill out here, we'll chill out here. I know what happened, your health bar hit zero, yeah. I'm gonna save again because we just killed the centurion. And then let's go for this guy. Dude, probably haven't had exercise for thousands of years. Yeah, you can... you can really tell. How does the ball roll up the stairs? D this is Dwemer technology, I can't believe you're even questioning it, okay? They were... Pioneers. Yeah, I'll just fucking drink the potion. Uh, I could also... what do I have in terms of scrolls? A scroll of vitality. 
Oh, there you go. I'll just use the scroll. Fuck it. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's that's definitely not how you do it. Wait, hold on. Scroll of vitality. I'll use the other one, right? And I'll equip my ring. Engraved ring of healing. I've got actually I've got ring of fireball. What'll happen if I just like chuck a fireball at him? Also, where's my fire blade? Am I holding it? Yeah, okay. Let's go get it! Whoa! What have I just done? Jesus Christ! Oh my god. I've, I've actually just caused like, um chaos. Did, did anyone see that explosion? <laughs> Jesus Christ, I scared myself. Okay. Restore health. Oh god, the cheap ones are not gonna cut it. It's not gonna go fast enough. And he's hitting me right now! Wait, uh... Do I have any anything else for health? Exclusive restore health. Quality fortify health. Let's fortify health. Because this isn't a joke. Okay? Restore intelligence. Absolutely no need for that. Bargain fortify health. There we go. Right, let's do this! Screw you! Oh my god, I killed him. I've actually killed him. Item does not have enough charge, and I killed him. And he's got nothing. All that for just, like, a traffic cone that wasn't painted yet. Jesus. Wow. Okay. Well, let me equip this silver short sword because I'm pretty sure you can hit ghosts with the silver sword, right? Short sword. And I'm gonna save because we just did, did- did I save again? I'm saving again because... Yeah, look at that. Warwind is all about, like, pacing yourself and, um... Oh, jeez. I thought he was still alive. What- what did he have, by the way? Scrap metal. Chatarra. Okay. Respect people who use scrolls. They're so powerful, but I hoard them for a rainy day at the end of finishing the game and never using them. Yeah, no, I've just decided we're just gonna use them. Fuck it. I mean, that was pretty fun. Uh, I think that was the ring that did that. Uh, which is epic. That ring destroyed that silly little elf. Okay. Let's see what we got. A Dwemer shield! Yes! Oh my god. A hammer and a door key. I'm not gonna take any more hammers because last time you guys were giving out to me so much for taking hammers. You know what? I'll pick it up and I'll like uh, fix my sword. That's what I'll do. I'll fix my sword with the hammer right now and then I won't be carrying hammers around. Okay? Deal? Because, uh, yeah, you guys were you guys were pretty upset about the fact that I was carrying so many hammers. So maybe it's not a good idea. Silver short sword. It wasn't even- oh. I should probably fix my fur helm. <laughs> Fire blade, fire blade's good. Where's the steel sword short is good? I want this. Let's go back again. Oh. I'm all out. All right, cool. Well, I've used them all, so now that uh, I'm not carrying heavy stuff. Now he's double dead, yeah. What is this? A Dwemer closet. I've never seen a Dwemer closet before. Did they- did they have clothes? Do they have need for clothes? Alright, here we go. Oh my god, that's like apocalyptic, dude. Did you see what I did? Did anyone see that? I'm killing them! Oh my god! These are dwarves. These aren't elves. These are dwarves. I'm just realizing. This is what they looked like, right? Yeah, that's a dwarf inspector. That's not an elf. Why did I think that that was a dark elf? Silly. I too am guilty of hammer hoarding. And you know what the thing is, right? You, you, If you are hoarding hammers, you probably like found them along the road and you picked them up. I bought this. I bought this with my own money and I carried it around. They don't need clothes anymore wherever they are. Well, I can kind of see. I mean, he looks pretty fashionable, to be honest. I can't say that I like hated what he was wearing. Um, so yeah. Should get a better look at it though. Hold on, let's see. Alright. Stupid thing. Dead thing. Oh, another one. These are better than the ones in Skyrim, because the ones in Skyrim just all start coming at you from like all different sides, while these ones will just like chill around the corner and give you time to kill the first one. That's pretty reasonable of them. Dwemer are elves too, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know, but I was just like convinced that they were dark elves, you know what I mean? That's why I... Wait, 
Did I just go full circle? <laughs> yeah, I did. Is this really all this place has to offer? A couple of... So the Dwarven Shield was like the main prize in all this. Surely this can't be all. There, there's gotta be something else. You know what? There is something else because there's gotta be that place. Actually, maybe no. Maybe that goes somewhere else. You know the place we can levitate to now? Because we've got the levitation spell. Because of the weight. Damn, where are my moral fans at? Hey, y'all. Hey! Hammers are worth it when you level up smithing and you have access to master hammers. In early game, they are more for role-playing than anything else. Yeah, I'm gonna role-play somebody that never has any carrying capacity. Okay, well, I... Yeah, wait, hold on. Actually... Actually, though, was this... Did I, did I go... Because if I go back up here, there's also this place, and I don't think I've gone here. Yeah, no, there's gotta be more to this place. I'm thinking it, it cannot just be that thing. Yeah, there we go. Two doors. All right, let's see. Are they trapped? Yep. Both of these are trapped. And what about this? Nope. I kind of want to see what's behind it, though. It's. I know it's trapped. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save, and then I'm gonna open it, because I can't. Hello? What did it do to me? Hello? It did like nothing. I walked away from it and it didn't do anything. Cheto or Cheeto was a uh, was too powerful for whatever that trap was. This reminds me of Quake. That, like the lava. Yo! Level 40. Wait, hold on. Where's my lock pick at? How many uses? It's got 19 uses. Can I do this? Please. Oh, please. That looks so promising. That looks sick. I really want to open this. How many uses have I left on it? Eight. All right, let's go, guys. Come on. Please. I kind of wish I bought that unlock spell now. Because I know it was level 50. So I definitely would have opened it then. But, um, yeah, whatever. No lock chest. I will come back for this, I promise. Yo! What are you- God damn it. Wait. Raw glass. Yeah, whatever. Um... Isn't someone making sounds? Well, yeah, I didn't realize. <laughs> yeah, look, this is like quake lava. What else is out here? Oh, this is looking sus. So the only thing behind this door really is that locked chest that I cannot open because I broke all my lock fix. That's okay. Let's get out of here. Let's go this way then. Okay. So we've got another door. Surely this one is also trapped. Deep or passage. We're getting like... Hello. Short blade skilled increased. Okay. Wait, actually, you know what I can do out here? I can wait and I can just restore my health really quick. Yeah, because I killed everybody in here. Oh, we've leveled! We're level four! Amazing! All right, let's go agility, let's go speed, and let's go endurance, because I kind of want to have more health and more fatigue. So I think that that's the best way. Hola, Alex. ¿Cómo estás? Razor. Uh, I missed the second stream, so maybe you sold it. What did I sell? You what? Again? All right, let's go. I can do this. Oh my god. Screw you, dude. I've done this before. You know that, right? Yeah. Look, I'm literally wearing the same armor as you. How can you be so incompetent that you attack me like this? I could be one of you, you know. Yeah, that's right. Screw you, dude. Fall down the stairs like I, I did. And I'm gonna get all this money again for all this shit, dude. And I get to sell, I get to sell like the whole set this time. Cause obviously I've got the set already. I've already done this. So look at all this money we're gonna get, dude. This is great. Take all. Am I over encumbered? I am not by four points, poggers. Look at the face. 
of a silly man. <laughs> this is amazing. Bien, y tú super bien. Yeah, surface-wise, it looks like something else. Uh, isn't there two types of lockpicks? One for the locks and another for disarming traps? There is. Somebody... Wh what was it called again? Somebody said it earlier. That armor was so sweet. Uh, what is this farm tool on farm tool violence? <laughs> Did you just call this guy a farm tool? <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's keep going. Damn, these assassins are relentless. They'll literally find you anywhere. The good thing is they only attack you when you've, like, rested. So... Like, I'll have my full health and fatigue when this guy comes at me, so it doesn't really matter, right? That's like the only time, surely? Oh shit, I'm like way over carrying capacity. Yeah, I'll leave the spear. I kind of want to put it on the floor. Where is it at? Yeah. Because, um, don't really need it. This is where I could levitate from, I think. And that's about it. I think we've explored this whole place. Let's just go back. I'll see this as well. Probes, that's it. Probes. It sucks how they give you instant great light armor, and that's the best thing you can get until glass. Well, I guess we just gotta hustle until glass. Telekinesis. Oh, I thought that was an Argonian. Apologies, good sir. Probes allow you to unlock traps. I wish they got herb with pro You know what? I gotta I gotta stop before reading the chat sometimes. I've realized you guys are actually wild. No, you guys are wild. Look at this dude. You know what I'm gonna do? I love doing that. That ring is amazing. I don't know where I got this stupid ring, dude. But it's not stupid. It's great. But I love what it does. Oh my god, the chaos. I know that's not really like part of my build, like magic and stuff. But you know what? We'll make an exception because that's just cool as heck. Yo, Ethan, what's up? Uh, open the chest with the scroll. I have a scroll? Unhinging. Yo, I do have a scroll. Oh my god, you are so right. Let's go back. Thank you! I didn't know I had a scroll! That's crazy, dude. You're- you're- thank you so much. Oh my god. I don't even know what's in my own inventory, like... I'm actually so blind. <laughs> what the- what the hell? Okay. You know what? This is great news. This is excellent news. Because the curiosity was going to kill me. So... Come, Nerevar. Let us unhinge this hinge. Where is it at? Um... I'm gonna work on that, by the way, that didn't sound good. Okay, uh... Oh my god, it's unlocked! <laughs> Why do I get, like, trolled by this game all the time? It had a, an ornate Dwemer Goblin! <laughs> oh my god. Where, I need my emotional support candle right now. I'm not gonna be able to live this down. I'm so glad I opened it now so that I didn't like go on thinking about it, buy an expensive ass spell for it, and like I could just use a scroll that I already had. But dude. Why? Why does this happen to me? Why? That was just the most disappointing thing ever. I cannot believe that that happened. I'm, I'm in shock. I'm in dis. Hip 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 hiccups, sorry. I'm in disbelief. Uh, is loot random or is it fixed in Morrowind? Well, surely it's random, right? Well, that is a disappointment beyond measure. Disappointment beyond measure, Outlander. For Supreme Dwemer, Dwemer sipping. Yeah. Incompetent is what it is. Inadequate. That is literally the best outcome. Oh, dude, it's one of them. Hold on. And he's got a spider with him as well. Okay, let's see. Yo. No, wait, where's my ring? Oh shit. I love doing that. Yeah, you're gonna die. Pile of chatarra. That's it. Ectoplasm. Yep. Juicy. Okay. Let's be careful, like, where we step, because I've been, like, careless. I thought, like, this was the end of the dungeon. I'm like, loot is random, except for when it's not. Yeah? Those chests have random loot. You are unlucky. Yeah, it, it, it has to be random loot. Like, surely, like, you would know, oh, a level 40 lock chest over there, like, always gives a Dwemer cup, like, it's shit. Like, 
There has to have been a chance of it being something cool. Come here! Get over here! Okay, wait. I'm not hitting you. I'm a little bit fatigued, that's why. Stupid spider. Damn, this place looks sick. Uh, I'm gonna go back and rest to regain health because I don't want to use any potions. At least you can sell the cup for like 40 gold and that's not even what they're gonna give me. They're not gonna give me 40. They're gonna be like, hmm, you know like in, in that show, what's it called? Pawn Stars? You know, like in, in theory, it's like, yeah, the expert comes in and he's like, yeah, these sell for about $15,000. And then Rick's like, I'll give you $800. You know what I mean? So like, this is exactly what it's going to be. It's going to be like that show. All right, let me, let me wait. Could have been a wooden bowl. I'm still waiting. Dude, haven't found it. Locked it for themselves for later and vanished from their <laughs> Best I can do is eight. Honestly, that makes me so angry every time. I've been I've actually never like properly watched Pawn Stars, but recently I've been sitting down and like watching a few things of it on like YouTube. And um damn, it makes me so mad. Literally, the expert comes in and he makes the seller so excited because the expert will give like this really promising figure. In fact, he might even quote like more than what the seller initially asked for. So the seller is standing there all smiley like and Rick's like, best I can do is $20. My, my, my heart breaks for them. Pawn Stars Morrowind Edition, That's this is what this is. So the Dwemer Cup guys, like I have absolutely no hope for it, you know? Best I can do is 80 drakes and not report you for smuggling Dwemer goods out. Oh yeah, because it's illegal to sell Dwemer artifacts. Didn't they say that? Somebody said that. It's not legal to sell Dwemer artifacts. So we're going to get done in for this stupid cup as well. I have to make money out of this too. Literally that it's like, it makes me so mad. <laughs> like unreasonably mad. Like can't you just be nice? Oh, what's that you have? The original Ten Commandments? $200 is the best I can do. Yeah, he'll be like, this just won't sell quick enough. You know, and like... <sighs> really? Where am I? What is this place? It's a little bit confusing, isn't it? I gotta get up there somehow. I think. Right? Yeah, that looks more like where I probably could go. Let me see, maybe there's something under the water as well I could see. Because there's no way out that way. This scroll you used to open the chest is probably worth much more. I don't even want to think about- I mean, what, what are they worth? Because I have this- I had three of them. I mean, they're worth 73. It's not like I was going to sell the scrolls. And I guess... And in the end... You know, I, my curiosity was also worth something, so... Can I, like, go somewhere? Here? Oops. Jesus. Need a scroll of, uh, water breathing. Your breath, like, ends so quickly here. Nah, it's definitely not down there. Wait, let me get back out. I mean, this place looks cool, and there's surely more to see, but I'm just not really sure how to get up there. Bye! Um, you can sell ore, just not take it from the mines. Wait. Oh, I thought this was the way up. Hold on. I am missing something essential. What is this? I've just fallen through the map. Help. Oh god. How do I get out of this pickle? We are stuck! Ah! <laughs> no! Okay, wait, 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 wait. This is this is fixable. Where's my last save? Uh, okay, right. This is totally fixable. Nobody panic. Why your game looks so good? I've got graphic extenders on this, but I'm also okay. Wait. Oh wait, wait, wait. 
I've um, I've fallen through the floor. Help! Can I levitate out of the water? Does anybody know? If I use a scroll of levitation right now, like I know, I just don't want to go all the way back. Okay. There's got to be a way out. Okay. Let me see. Yeah, there has got to be a way out. I'm gonna try levitate. I'm gonna. No, I'm not gonna save. I'm just gonna try levitate. Fuck it. Where's the levitation spell? Divine intervention? Wait. Did I even buy it? No, because then I lost my progress and I don't have that. Oh my god. Okay, right. Let's see. Now I'm definitely stuck for real, like forever. Okay, right. Let's load. Fuck it. Uh, wait, this was at 11.09, 11.19. Yeah, that's definitely, that's definitely it. Um... Wait. Yeah, and I killed this dude. That was it, yeah. Um, I mean, we didn't really get anything else out of it after that, so try Alt F4. Read chat. Console commands. Oh yeah, I could have just, I could have just... I could have just toggled console commands. You're right. And you know what? You know what? I've been like avoiding console commands for like anything here because I want to do like no, no cheating. Yeah, yeah. I know how to do the the uh, the TCL um, command, but I I don't know. I just didn't think of it because we've been doing like no cheats and everything. So oh shit. All right. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter because um, yeah, like we've killed everything here. We've pretty much done everything. I think the only thing we'll have to do now is just kill that one Dwemer again. And then that one spider and that's it. Like, we haven't really lost a whole lot. You could use intervention to teleport to the temple. I can teleport out of here? I've got intervent- wait, what is intervention? Divine intervention. What does that mean? Essential Bethesda command. Yeah, you're right. You know what? Next time, if this happens, I will do TCL. Yo, what's up here? <gasps> I wish I had levitation right now. Oh my god, I could levitate because look, there's stuff there. Isn't there, no? Wait, I can go up this way? I I probably can. Hold on. Acrobatics. Come here. Let me. Yo, I can do this. I can do this. Wait. Stupid spider thinks. Yes! Yes, I'm getting up! I've gotten up! Oh my god. Was that a chest or was that just like the spider? Hold on. Yeah, it was a chest! Dude, this place is so sick. Yo! A dwarven warhammer for 600 gold! And that's gonna weigh a ton. What can I throw away? How many repair hammers do I have? Uh, that's gonna weigh. 32. Do I have any fortify strength, maybe? Hold on, magic. Fortify luck, resistance, shadow, health, restore luck, fortify luck, flame, blight, disease, common disease, spell, fatigue, intelligence. So what does divine intervention do? Divine intervention teleports to the Imperial Temple. Alm Sivi teleports to the Dunmer Temple. All right, well, let's do divine intervention. Can I do divine intervention if I'm overburdened? Does anyone know? Because I don't really want to throw anything out because all of this stuff costs a lot of money. And I want to go to Sedanine. So, can I do this? I'll, I'll just try it. Let's see, divine intervention. I'll save before I do it, I guess. Cheeto, yeah. Okay. Yes, I can! Yo, where where am I? I am so close to Sedanine. I've got an idea. I've got an idea. Okay. We're gonna be doing this, right? Look. And then, wait, let me just move all this out of the way. Wait, can I- does that work? I mean, bit by bit, but... Can I just like place it like where I want to place it though? Yes. 
No. Is this content? <laughs> Balmora's right there as well, dude. I'm I'm bringing this to Balmora. One way or another. I am taking the silt. Can I take the silt striders while I'm overburdened? Is that possible? I am. I'm getting my money. Get, get out. You're gonna have to get out of my way, okay? And he walks over it like I just. I literally just said, okay. Okay. This is working, guys. There are merchants in the castle. Yeah, but I've got a guy. You know what I mean? I've got a guy that'll give me like way more money for this and it's gonna be worth it. Do, 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 do. Okay. I've got, you know what? You know where I've done this before? I've done this in Fortnite, but I did it by like swapping items out. I wish you could do what you can do in um, Oblivion and Skyrim, like manually like carry the thing. You know, um, when you hold and carry it. Which way is Balmora? Am I going the right way? It's that way, okay. This is actually working and I'm here for it. Let's go. Look at how far we've made it now. Look, I know this isn't the most efficient way to move around. I agree. Do I care? I absolutely do not care. Yeah, buckle up. Buckle up. Go. Oh, this shit's worth a lot of money and I'm not leaving it. Cheeto is a hustler, okay? I can see the silk strider from here. We're almost there, guys. We're almost there. You see that? That's where we're going. Okay. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. Nobody lose faith, okay? I'm buckled. Where did I put it? Oh, I put it back in my inventory. Okay. Nobody touch me. Nobody move. This is peak Morrowind gameplay. I'm gonna actually, um... Hold on. Yeah. Um Did I did I throw it? Yeah. You're not kidding either. I'm not kidding, dude. I'm not kidding. You know what? When I said I was going to do this, I'm going to commit to the bit. I'm going to commit and you guys could all judge me if you want, but I do not care. I have never ever been happier. Please tell me somebody gets that. Um <laughs> I don't know how it really applies here, but whatever. Maybe invest into a feather spell. Uh, maybe uh, keep an open mind. Because I feel like I've just invented something. You know, in a way, I feel like Cheeto is like a distant cousin of the Dwemer. Because only the Dwemer would invent such, a, such an efficient and creative way to move items in moments of stress. Okay? I feel like... Having spent so much time in that Dwemer rune, you know, a lot of their intellect and knowledge has really rubbed off on me. And in fact, it's all been stored right here in the Colovian Fur Helm. So I think that everybody should just have faith, dude. Look at look at how far we've gotten. And like we're literally right there. Like the Silstrider is right there, dude. I'm not even kidding, okay? I'm not even kidding. Overburdened? Pfft. Who cares? Pfft. Divine intervention? And then you just, you know, walk around a little bit and that's fine. Cheeto does not cheat. No, he does not. Cheeto is an honest cat. Let's go. I'm almost there. I'm almost at the silt strider. I wonder how it's gonna be making it up the stairs though. Is it gonna like fall off the stairs? Like fall through the stairs, I mean? I mean, I can expect anything from this game, you know? We, I'm gonna actually save because we've made so much progress. <laughs> we, we've gotten so far. I'm not losing this, okay? I'm not losing this. Everybody be quiet. 
I, I need to think. Be quiet, I can't see anything. Okay, there we go. Drop ebon ore. What? How much does that weigh? It weighs 10? Oh yeah, but that's still not gonna fix my problem. <sighs> no, I'm committing to the bit and I'm keeping the ore. Because it's, it's worth 200. Are you kidding? Drop the ore? How about... How about no? I can't believe you guys don't have faith in this method. Honestly. I need a show of hands in the chat. Who thinks that this is revolutionary? Please. Who agrees with this method of moving? Galaxy brain moment. Absolutely. I'm not over encumbered, my guys. I am enlightened, okay? I've never felt lighter. I have never felt better about what I'm doing. This is in fact what I went to school for. My leaving cert has amounted to this. No, I didn't take physics for the leaving cert. But clearly I could have. Right? Clearly. After this stream, I'm gonna check my emails, because I'm pretty sure Harvard is gonna be interested. And if they're not, well, that's just cringe. I bet you Todd Howard didn't see that one coming, huh? Did you now, Todd? No, you did not. I disagree with this method. Well, I respect your incorrect opinion. This is the future, okay? Anyone here that's going to start a Morrowind playthrough after getting inspired by my streams you can all say where you learned this okay don't forget the name it's cheeto let's go i can see it already there's the silt strider oh my god we're molag ballin right now cheeto's delivery service <laughs> stop oh god this is too much. You know when you order a pizza and like it just never gets there? It's because the pizza guy is overburdened. <laughs> this is what he's doing though and he's a genius for it. This is working guys. I know! I. I, didn't I say this would work? Didn't I say that this was the way? Look, I know it's clunky. I... I get that this isn't perfect. But you know, who is perfect? I'm not a perfect person. You know, I'm not, I'm not gonna sing that because um, I'm gonna get copyrighted again and we've already had this problem. Respectfully, move, please. Ugh. Do I have to go around you? Like, oh, dude, come on. Mm. Fucking, all the people in Balmor are just obstacles. I can hear the sweet sounds of the Silt Strider, which I am going to take to get to Sedanin. And my uh, vendor friend. Summoned by another. Why are you following me? Go away. <laughs> Please, look, I, I like you, but I, I just need to do this, okay? Is she following me? Alright, get out of the way, dude. Oh my god. What? This is amazing. I'm so happy that I discovered this. That I invented this. I don't know what you mean. This is perfection. Actually, yeah. You know what? Truth. I'm glad you feel that way. I was just testing you guys by saying that this isn't perfect. I just wanted to see who out of you in the chat is an intellectual like myself. I, I was just, you know, this was a test. And um, you, what's your name? Preed, uh, times two, you've passed the test. So yeah, that's it. And anybody who uh, put up their hand to say that this is the way forward, you two are based. She's impressed by your methods. She wants your hammer. 
Just because she's an Argonian, do you guys think she wants my stuff? Look, she's coming back. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> Look at her going. Speak quickly. <laughs> Go away, please. <laughs> Go about your business. What is this? What are you doing? What's actually happening right now? Dude, she's being an obstacle. She is being an obstacle. Oh my god. Why is this happening? Okay, wait, wait. We're almost there, too. Like, it's not. This is not the time to give up. Look, the Silt Strider is right there. We just get a. You know, get into Balmora and get up a flight of stairs and, and we're done. But if you're gonna keep doing this- Okay, I'm not even gonna look in her direction, so maybe she won't speak to me. The Did... scent is new. Does she just go, <laughs> the scent is new? Yeah, that's right. Keep going. Okay. Before she turns around, gotta... Yeah, because she's, she's just making this unnecessarily difficult. I mean, I know Cheeto is an attractive man. Okay, let's just let's just say things how they are, right? The Colombian fur helm, the Dark Brotherhood gear. I mean, he's kitted out, dripped out, and he's pretty handsome too. I understand, okay? I'm a woman too, but I just want to say that you know, when a man is working, you just can't be disrupting the work. You just gotta let him do what he has to do. You know? Oh, this is clipping through the ground. I'm getting nervous. Um... Sniff sniff, is that a Khajiit smell? <laughs> okay, let's go. Imagine I get this far and it just like... Morrowinds its way out of the map, like it clips out of the ground. We're almost there as well, oh my god. gonna close my stats window because this has been making stuff difficult wait where's the stairs oh there it is. okay i can't believe this is this has worked <laughs> actually i can it's great this is perfect kit it out get it kit it out agree is a strong word cheeto is a truly handsome kitty i'm, I'm glad you're seeing it I always knew you guys had eyes. Johnny Droid, thank you so much for the subscription. Welcome to the channel. You've come at a perfect time. This is peak content. I don't think I've created anything better on this channel to date. Oblivion clothing video has nothing on this whole process. All right, I think we're almost to the stairs. So let's uh, let's get started with, with climbing them. Hopefully the hammer doesn't decide to clip through the stairs. Hopefully. Oh shit, it might. Okay, wait. Wait, can I just like put it? Okay, this is way better. You see, now that we're on the stairs, we can actually put it. Oh no, we can't. Okay, not always. Let me just put it right here, hold on. Why didn't you go there? Okay, doesn't matter. I, I, I'm almost there. Oh my god. We did it. We... We are so great. Oh my god. We make a special trip just for Yeah, Say that's no. right. Let's go to Sedanine. Oh my god, we did it. Okay, okay, okay. Now, now we've got to get to my vendor friend in his trade house, okay? Or or whatever it's called. We're not out of the woods yet, okay? But we almost are. Wait, can I just like go that way? Yeah. All 
All right, I'm gonna focus chat. Imagine, oh shit. I have to like fall down that way, don't I? It's probably better if I go down this way. Stop, hammer time. Literally half the stream is gonna be, I should have called this stream hammer time. Everybody would have thought that I meant like uh, repair hammers though and they would get angry again. I've learned my lesson, no more repair hammers. Just dwarven hammers. I've replaced repair hammers with this dwarven hammer. Are you guys pleased with me? Is everybody happy? Must find the nearest Khajiit waifu. After the hammer. Sure, I really will buy that blunt piece of metal. Am I sure? Dude, is he's my best friend since I was nice to Fargoth. Because you know what? He feels so ba bad for Fargoth because nobody is nice to Fargoth. And so, um... When I was nice to him, even though nobody knows that I actually took his stash, but whatever. Like, pfft. we're good, you know? We're besties. Oh my god, look where I placed it. <laughs> what the heck? Alright. This is so good. Th there, this is the building we're going to, by the way, guys. Okay. This is it. All these people crossing. Less fortunate than I less really fortunate. am not asking for any help. Get out of the way. You are interrupting a very delicate and sensitive process right now. Okay? Oh my god. I suppose I could help. Just stop. Just move. Oh my god. Yeah, that's right. Oh my god. These people. Dude, I'm... What's this about? Oh, nothing, officer. Just carrying my stuff. Nothing to see here. Obtained by absolutely legal means. I cannot. Oh my god. Guys, we're almost there. Guys, we are. Wait. We are almost there. I'm gonna put it on the step. No, I can't. Okay. Can I put it on this step? Yes, I can! Oh my god, okay. We're almost there. We're almost there. I can almost taste it. All the gold we're about to get, dude. This is unbelievable. This... This is what Morrowind is all about at the end of the day. This is peak Elder Scrolls gameplay. You won't get this anywhere else. Okay, wait. I need to drop it again to, to walk over to him. Just give me a sec, my friend. Care to talk? Yeah, we're here to talk. All right. First things first. Hammer. 361. It's more than half. And I think this is the best price I would have gotten like anywhere. So, uh, shield. Oh my god. Wait, we're going to be we're going to be loaded right now. Wait. Oh, this is more than he has. I can't sell him the armor. Maybe I can wait. When does his gold replenish? We did it. We did it! Oh my god. Why did I stay up to watch this? Uh, because this is peak Morrowind content, obviously. I don't know, dude. I don't think this gets any better. The seller. I was going to offer you 20 septums, and I am risking. <laughs> Literally, this is gameplay to deny us in the later games. Exactly. This hammer looks worn, and it's got this old owner's name on it. Sorry, I can only offer this much. Don't be giving me the freaking Pawn Stars talk right now, guys. That's uh, too late. Too late. I'm happy with the price I got. I knew I wasn't going to get the 600, but what I got, I'm pretty pleased with. If you sell in, Cal in Caldera, you can sell for full price. No, you can't. Because cause I don't know anyone in Caldera. It replenishes after 24 hours? Okay. Let's go wait 24 hours. Huh? 
Hello. You've piqued my interest. Please. As have you. All right. Hell yeah. Okay, I'm gonna offer. I could tell him just like the chest piece and a glove. Let's go back again. We are gonna be. We're about to be loaded, dudes. I'm about to have so much money. Imagine all the bribes we can give now. Oh my god. There's a merchant called the Creeper, and he has five thousand gold. Please. Really? Feel free. Talk at your leisure. And he buys shit for full price. In Caldera. But this guy's my friend. You know what? Yeah, fuck it. We'll go to the creeper if we find him ever. All right, that was that. I'm pretty happy with every. Ooh. Time is precious, so make it quick. Okay. Let's get out of here. Right. Let's go back and sort out the spiders guild business. Let's see what uh what all the cheese made was all about. Thanks for the caldera tip. Yeah, no, I didn't know about Creeper. I am um, just finding a lot of this out. Careful, the Creeper will blow you up. Oh, it's that kind of Creeper. He has no disposition, so everything is fair value. Well, that's a good trip, thank you. All right, let's see. So, uh, okay, previous. Satilda. Wait. It's at the south wall in Balmora. Which one's the south wall? Whoops. Local map. Okay. This would be it. Council club. So her name's Satilda. Pawnbroker. South wall. All right. Let's let's go chat to these guys. Maybe they'll invite me to the thieves guild. Cheeto lore. We need to drag the hammer to the crab. <laughs> what crab? All right, the corner club. Let's let's uh let's have a chat with these people. They're surely gonna want to accept me to their ranks. Hey, um, citizens of the empire. Wait, let's see. Do you barter? She doesn't really want to talk about the thief skill though. Fighters Guild. Or the code- wait, code book. What code book? I wouldn't talk to you about that sort of thing. Well, lucky for you, I just made a lot of money. So, tell me more. Okay, friend, you know about the code book. I don't want any trouble with you, so just take it. Don't tell anyone I gave it to you. Oh, wait. She- she just gave it to me. Alright. Arathor? Are these all Thieves Guild? Sugar Lips Habasi. Join the Thieves Guild. You look like you may have some skill. You want to join? Or you want to know what we're all about? Um, yeah. Okay, you are now a toad in the- What? I just- I just joined the Thieves Guild. Oh my god. Uh, welcome, Brother Cheeto. Talk to me when you want some odd jobs to do and when you think you're ready for advancement. Yeah, I want a job. A good friend of Habasi wants a diamond. Nalka Nalkaria, the alchemist, has diamonds. Gotcha. Nalkaria, the alchemist. Her shop is on the northwest side of town. Go across the river, turn right, and keep going. If you reach the temple, turn left. Hi, Angelica Tosh. Do you like the Imperials or the Stormcloaks more? I am a diehard Stormcloak. Um, first rule of the Thief's Guild. Join the Thief's Guild before doing the codebook quest. Oh, shit, did I mess it up by taking the codebook? I mean, I could probably load and, like, not ask her for it, because... Oh, no, I can't, because I'm back in St. Anine then. Wow, a Khajiit in the Thief's Guild? I'm shocked. Did I mess up my, my Thief's Guild experience? Speak, traveler. Speak, traveler. All right, well, I messed it up, then I messed it up, but hopefully not too much, right? I'll probably get, like, some bad disposition or something. So, northwest corner of town, did she say? Oh, that's it. Whitehaven. Uh, fine alchemist. Lives in Ireland, yearns for an independent Skyrim. Checks out. I mean, 
it is what it is, you know? Never ask a Stormcloak supremacist the race of his girlfriend. Quit Based. Two Khajiit meet each other and they're already planning to steal something. Scheming. Alright, Nalkira. Let's have a look at what you got here. I'm just looking, by the way. I'm not taking any of the stuff. I'm just looking. What's this? Grave dust, frost salts. I thought that was a diamond. Bone meal. I thought that was a diamond too. Alright, no diamond here. Wait. Hold on a minute. Stuck. Can I like... Can I? Have something to say to me? Wait, get out of the way, dude. I want this stuff. <gasps> Look, I'm hidden. Wait, let me just... Let me just save. Okay. I know they told me to get a diamond. Oh, there's the diamonds! We are Moloch balling right now. Oh my god. I'll take the brandy. Okay. I wanna- oh shit, I'm stuck. Like I'm proper- oh, there we go. What's in the chest? Hmm. Can't really- oh shit. Oh shit! Uh, thank you, Patrick Stover, for the follow. How are you? Moloch Pollen. If we had a potion of burden 15 minutes ago. I know, but anyways, we have it now. Grief. Restore strength. Restore strength is pretty good. There's these guys that, like, take your strength away. Look, you're in the way and I can't get stuff. Do you ever go to bed, by the way? It's like... It's 3 a.m. What are you doing? Okay. Uh, I guess I could do without the rest of this stuff. Uh, yeah, bye! I took the diamonds, let's go! Oh my god, this was so easy. Speak, traveler. Get the cat off the shelf. What cat? What shelf? I don't know what you're talking about, my friend. I have no idea. Just don't sell this stuff back to her. I am a sleeper among thousands. I bring you a message. Dagothar calls you Cheeto, and I cannot deny- You cannot deny your lord? Are you actually off a beam? Are you telling me what to do? Get out of here. Look, all you need is 100,000 Sujama. Thanks. Reef and Flynn will increase your strength. Will it? D d is that what it said? I didn't read it. Okay, let's see. Hey, I've got some really good news. I did find a diamond. Yes, here it is. Yes, a diamond! Habasi will take care of everything. Habasi cannot pay you until Habasi's friend pays Habasi. But Habasi has this potion to give you. Uh, exclusive invisibility has been added. Yo, that's pretty good. Can I get an advancement? Congratulations, Cheeto. You are now the wet- Cheeto the wet ear! <laughs> <laughs> These rank names are so funny. All right, uh, do you have other jobs for me? Habasi wants the key to Nerano Manor. Habasi wants the key to Nerano Manor. Downstairs, the manors are rarely locked, but Habasi wants to go upstairs secretly. Who has the key? Andres Nerano has a key. Habasi thinks Nerano's servant, Sovor Trandel at the council club, has a key. Right, so there's two people that have a key to Nerano Manor. And where's the manor again? Uh, no, never mind. I don't have the key yet. Habasi's no patient clan mother. Bring the key to Habasi. All right, all right. Nerano Manor. Surely I can see it on the map if I go out, right? This is way better than whatever the Fighters Guild wanted me to do. Some fucking code book. Nah, all right. Let's see. It's probably House Hlalu Council. 
Lalu Manor. Narano Manor, that's it. It's like, honestly, it looks like uh, this Khajiit is asking me to thieve from like this general vicinity. Like she's pretty far away from the action, you know, she'll be sitting in this corner of Balmora and you'll be going all the way over there to do that. All right, let's do it, let's do it, fuck it. Ihe wa ma. Ga ma. On will kya the gum dolgaji egg Narano Manor. Night night and was I gotta bounce with acrobatics 100. Good stream. Good night. Thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time. Hey, had to split for a minute and get pain meds for s and some food. What did I miss? Well, we've just joined the Thieves' Guild and we've started down uh, an honorable path. So, this is Nerano Manor. Alright, let's pay them a visit. I like how stuff is open here all the time. Not like in Skyrim. He doesn't see me anymore. None of these bowls are wooden, by the way. You guys actually lied to me. There's no wooden bowl in this game. That's a bucket, but no, that's not. Okay. Wait, he can see me. Oh, I've got a potion of invisibility. Hold on, let me save. Let me try the potion of invisibility. I've actually got two of them, so... Wait. I don't know when this is gonna wear off, but he doesn't have the key. That is quite enough. Yo, yo, wait a minute. Who are you fighting? I'm invisible. All right. <laughs> Cringe. Okay, let's uh, let's go back. No problem. <laughs> I thought I was invisible. All right, it's got to be his servant then. Oh no, it wasn't his servant. Who was it that she said? So, Narano Manor. Uh, who has the key? Andres Narano has a key. Habasi thinks Narano's servant. Sovor Trandil at the Council Club. All right, what's the Council Club? Let's let's go outside and let's find out what the Council Club is. All right, because yeah, this is locked. Surely I could just get like an unlock spell and unlock the door for Habasi, and she will be happy and she'll be able to go in. Oh no, that's lock level, level 60. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's not make him angry again. <laughs> this dude was just punching the air. I love all the, like... The glassware. Oh, so pretty. I saw part of it, but not the end. Did she end up making it to Balmora with the hammer? I did, the whole way, yeah. I made it the whole way. I made it even past Balmora. I went to Sedanine. And I uh, sold it to my guy who gives me more money. So the council club, is that a thing? I mean, that's the council, that's the council manor. Bookseller, razor hole. I feel like the council manor is probably where his friend will be at, right? What was his name? Hold on. His name is uh, Sovor Trandel. All right, let's see. Imare. Dondos. And what about you? Danar. Alright, there are none of these people. There's nobody back here. Balnor. Mervis. Nope. None of them. Falwell. And. God. She's just sitting here by herself behind this closed door. All right. Yes. Yes. Screw all these people. Let's go downstairs and let's go back. Council club is near to. Oh, council club is like an actual place, right? I thought it was just like this council place. All right, let's go to the council club. I think I know what you're talking about. Um. Isn't there people on the roof in the council club, right? Is that the one that you're talking about? Next to the self strider yeah, yeah. Nobody sleeps but the dreamer. And then he wakes, apparently. Whatever that means. 
Uh, okay, this this has got to be the council club, right? Oh, look at that sunrise. Isn't that so nice? That's the lucky lockup. No, that's not it. That's the council club. Wait, so let's see if maybe his servant's on the roof. Do you want to make it nope, guy? none of these guys. Wait, what was his name again? <laughs> okay, Sovor. Sovor. Somebody has got to remind me that his name is Sovor. All these names are like so hard to remember. The only cool name is Fargoth and KS Cassades. Okay. That's him. How do I... Right. Let's get on top of the table. This woman is staring at me. Alright, I've got an idea. We've got to find some way to become... Let's just have a chat with him, maybe. Nerano Manor. That's where I work. All right, Andres. I work for him. What else do you want to know? Yeah, he's not gonna talk. Okay, wait. I've got an idea. I just have to get into the stage where I'm not visible. All right, this is it. Now we're gonna do the invisibility potion. And I'm visible suddenly. Shit. Okay, I should have saved before that. Did I save? No. Right, whatever. I wasted an invisibility potion. Oh, I didn't. Come on. Let me out. Oh my god, let me out. I'm somehow visible by these dorks. Okay, wait. I was invisible right here. For a second. Am I still invisible? Yeah, okay. No, I was invisible for a second. Oh, who is sighing? God damn it. This is so tense. Just bully them into starting a fight? I don't want to start a fight. I'm decent. Oh, I'm also no longer invisible. <laughs> Alright, well I guess we're starting a fight. Uh, wait. What's up? Um... Hold on, he doesn't really want to talk about it though. Can I like... What does he sell? I mean, we have got to try this again. All right, I'm gonna save this time. And I'm actually gonna use the potion again. Come on. I have- I need to become invisible. Oh my god, these people still see me. How? Okay, wait. This way? And then, okay. Yeah, this is the way I went before and it's still not working. You can raise this position by, by one point at a time by buying and selling him a book. Is this a callback to my Warhammer tactic? Literally, if I just open his pocket right now, like, he doesn't even have it. Like, he doesn't even have the key, though. He doesn't have the key. Maybe I need to talk to the guy, the owner of the manor. Because I talked to this guy and he's like, yeah, I work for this guy, but uh, neither of them have the key in their pocket. So that's, uh, that's pretty strange. Isn't he supposed to have it in his pocket? Without the Amulet of Shadows leaving, leveling stealth and doing Thieves Guild quests is real pain. Well, we're just gonna have to go through it. 
Jeez, what kind of tavern is that? I know, they just all kind of stand around, aw around awkwardly and look at each other. Uh, look at this guy. So what do you want? Star Gel. Your name is not Star Gel. Greetings, citizens. I'm Star Gel. Well, I guess that answers that. Uh, okay. Tavern of Staring Contest. It, there was such a tense atmosphere in there. You know what? I, I walked in and I felt like I was interrupting something. But like, um, right, let's have a chat with this guy. Ask him about his manner. Why are you here anyway? Yes, I'm Andres Nerado. What do you want? Sovar? Yes, he works for me. Does odd jobs when he's not lazy. Which is rare. Quit play out, Lando. Huh. I haven't much time. But yeah, I'm just gonna save for a second. I'm just gonna double check. But I don't think he has the... Yes, he does. I'll deal with you, thief. Wait, no, 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 not that one. Quick save, yeah. Okay, okay, he has the key. He has the key. Wait, 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 he has the key. Okay, I've got an idea. I've got a plan. Where's my invisibility potion? Have it. That is quite enough. Dude! Chill. Chill. I didn't even mean it like that. Speak, traveler. If he raises this position to 70 or higher, an Arano Manor topic will appear, causing him to ask for a little compensation. Huh. The servant. He did say he was a bit lazy. Let's actually see what happens if we do make him like us a little bit. I'm getting that key one way or another. This man is not getting away with us. To be fair, this is exactly the vibe that the council club aims for. I mean, if you're gonna name a tavern council club, I don't expect it to be like party central, you know? It feels worse than going to like your job, going to the council club. Hey guys, you wanna hit up the council club after work? Oh, no. Okay. Uh, hey, buddy. All right, let's make you like me because I am I'm loaded right now. So You're too kind Tito. I know I am wait Look at him. You cannot purchase honor with gold flame and hot Cheeto <laughs> Up to this point nobody has used my class name and he's like you cannot purchase honor with gold flame and hot Cheeto I feel like this is like a wow. All right, let's uh, let's talk about the manor that's where I work. Alright, let's make you like me more. I feel like you don't like me enough. This is suitable, Cheeto. Suitable indeed. That's where I work. For a small consideration, I might be able to tell you a bit more. Alright, I'll, I'll give you more. Whatever, fuck it. Okay. Alright, you want the key? Just don't tell Andres Nerano I did this. Not that he doesn't deserve it with what he pays me. Finest. I don't know who was finest, me or him, but finest. Um, just out of curiosity, I'm gonna save before I check this, but then I can just get this back. Oh, okay, but I won't, but I can. 84 is the target, gotcha. The, char the charisma mechanic in Oblivion is so much better. Yeah, I like the mini game to um, to bring your disposition up with NPCs. That was like um, it was one of my favorite parts of Oblivion because when I first discovered it, it was so confusing. This, did my view distance just suddenly get fucked up, or is it just cloudy? Just cloudy. Oh wait, I have to go back to the Thieves Guild because they've got the key, that's all they wanted. I'm going back to the manor to like tell that guy, yeah, your servant just gave up the key. No, I have to go back to the Thieves Guild now. Who is robbing ho who here? I mean, yeah, but you know what? All I really want is just friendship. And I feel like that's what I will get at the Thieves Guild. So at the end of the day, it is worth it. It's not about the gold you make by dragging a Warhammer all the way across uh, the world to say to Neen. It's about the gold that you get to bribe this dude to give you the key to become friends with this cat in the Thieves Guild. Greetings. Um, yeah, here it is. 
Look, she gave me 500 gold. She literally paid me back like everything I spent. So who's the real loser? All right, Habasi likes this key very much. Habasi pays well. Do I get an advancement? Congratulations, Cheeto. You are now Cheeto the footpad. That is so sweet. What other jobs have you got? Razid, no good friend of Habasi, stole Dwemer artifacts from the guild. <gasps> Razid. Go to Fatleg's drop-off in Hla Ode. If Razid won't give you the Dwemer artifacts, find them and return them to Habasi. You must bring Habasi a Dwarven goblet, a Dwarven bowl, and a Dwemer tube. Uh, where's Hla Ode? Uh, it sounds familiar. It's a backwater town of fishermen southwest of Balmora. Ah, I think I know where this is. I've done this before. I've done this before. I'm pretty sure I know where this is. Uh, I remember that town very well because um, after I did this Thieves Guild quest, what happened was um, there was some Nord just walking around that like little town. And um, I talked to him because like, I, I don't know, I was just curious about him. He was like walking around, whatever. And he started to fight me and he killed me and I lost like half an hour of progress or something. Kla Ode is down the river. Yeah, yeah, I remember it. I remember it. The real gold was the friends we made along the way. Wholesome. Exactly. I just want to be friends with every Khajiit and Argodian in Vardenfell. That's all I really want. Still, because you worked for free. I didn't work for free. What's happening? Hello? Oh shit. I don't- I'm fatigued, but I'm still gonna kill you because you're bad. Horrible. Oh, that thing is- ugh. You know what? Just for getting stuck, I feel kind of bad for you and I'm just gonna leave you there. I'm going the right way. Hold on. It's supposed to be like... I think that's it. Oh yeah, wait. So it's that way. Yeah. One second. I'm just... I just lost the chat for a sec. There we go. Hi, gamer Angelica. How we doing? Are you winning? Oh yeah, I'm I'm moral winning. <laughs> Check the top of this hill. The top of this hill? Like like here? This place? There's nothing here. Just despair. I remember when I made a Nord based off of my grandpa, rest in peace, and how he would have acted. I ended up running my running into my, the bandit on the way to Wayne and Priory, the one that says your money or your life. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Oh my god, is that a niche? Sweet niche jelly. I bet you niche jelly is sweet as heck. You know what niche jelly reminds me of? Does anyone remember that one episode of Spongebob where um, he started farming uh, jellyfish for jelly and putting it on Krabby Patties and then Mr. Krabs started to exploit the jellyfish for it? But do you remember like how everyone went crazy for like the Krabby Patties with the jelly on it? That's what the Netch jelly reminds me of. I feel like it's like the same vibe and it's gotta be like the sweetest thing ever. Morrow winning. I'm Morrow winning. Okay. So who was the dude that we were looking for? We're in Hla Ode. Alright, so Sugar Lips Habasi told me about Razid at Fat Legs Drop Off in Hla. Alright, Fat Legs Drop Off. Surely that's a building of some sort. Let's see. Oops. Okay, let's let's walk around and, and find out. Hello. Do you know anyone called? Oh no, wait, she probably doesn't know him. Oh wait, Dwemer Artifacts. I don't trust you enough to talk about that. But you will in a minute. Okay. Will you tell me now? 
Wait. Rajid is looking for a buyer. Well, maybe I can convince him to give him to me for free. So fat legs drop off sounds like a tavern of. S oh, there we go. Right there. Okay. Are you Moro winning, son? Yeah. Is this you? It's you. Hey. All right. Uh, let's talk to Emor artifacts. What do Emor artifacts? Oh, brother. Come here. You know what I'm talking about. No? Not yet? Alright, what about now? If you insist. What do I more artifacts? This dude does not want to give it up. Let's find out where you're hiding them. Where was it again? Fuck, I did this ages ago. Hold on, there's a bit of a... Trapdoor. Maybe they're back here? Alright, alright. I'll give you- wait, how much gold have I left? Do I even have the money to be doing this? Oh yeah, I've got plenty of gold. This is what we did the Dwemer Hammer thing for. Are you going to play Oblivion too? Should we do an Oblivion playthrough? Oblivion will be a different kind of playthrough just because I've, um... Obviously I've played a lot of Oblivion and I've completed Oblivion and many of the quests in Oblivion, most of them probably at this stage, so it wouldn't be like a this sort of playthrough where like a lot of it I am experiencing for the first time. All right, tell me about the artifacts. Come on, it's a matter of trust. Oh Jesus, okay. Artifacts. Don't know anything about that. Yes, you do. Okay. Dude, I gave you like all my money and you don't know anything about that? I don't know where to begin. Oh, but it's an honor to meet me? Dude, cringe. Wait, I remember this quest! Doing some business. Tell you what, deliver this slave to Volar Hellas and Balmora as part of a payment. It shouldn't be a tough job for you. Right, I'll deliver the slave. And then she. Rabina. Yes, he was my master, but I must now deliver the payment. So, she has swallowed some um, moon sugar, I think. Yeah, that's it. Rabina is only part of the payment. Rabina was made to swallow many bags of wrapped moon sugar. This is the one true payment. There is no hope of escape. So, I will help you get to Im Kilaya. I will bring her to her friend, and together we will find the Dwemer artifacts. Hold on. 25 gold. Maybe I can loot, um... Maybe I can take back my gold? Wait. Ah, uh, no, not as long as she's with me. Wait, can I get her to wait for a sec- oh. Wait, my crime has been reported. I did not want to do that. No. Okay, wait, never mind. Um, she surely wouldn't report me. Uh, travel together. Wait, wait here. Yeah, just wait here for a sec. Okay, wait. Am I sneaking? Wait, let me just uh save. I kind of want my gold back. No. You? Rabina starts attacking me as well. Dude, we're literally going together, like, to, you know. Welcome, right. Friends. You can follow- Oh, sh- I'm sorry, I was still sneaking. Oh my god. I'm a mess. I'm a disaster. Welcome, Outlander. I must be off places to be and things to do. This has been great fun. Thanks for all the entertainment. It was nice catching up, a, catching a stream. Night, night. Thank you for stopping by. It was really nice to chat to you and good night. We'll see you in the next stream. Am I sneaking? Or I'm not. Yeah, you can follow me. Uh, let's travel together. Follow me. But I need to figure out about the Dwemer artifacts. Is it here? What is this? Right cloth? Horny? 
Bonk! Straight to jail. All right, um, fortify hand to hand. Wait, hold on a minute. Is this, is this some sort of a clever reference? Does anybody get it? It's a, I'm not gonna say it. 25 gold, all these chests. Yo, there's a lot of cool shit in here. Um, move! Oh my god. Wait, paper, soul gem, base, crate. We gotta get them to more artifacts. To more artifacts. I ask myself, do I like you enough to tell you about this? You know what? None of these people like me, and I'm gonna stop asking them about the artifacts. I'm gonna go back to that dude. She is so slow. One thing uh, about Morrowind escort quests, so I've done a couple of them, and the person following you is so slow. Okay, I'm listening. Maybe you know about it. The Dwemer artifacts. All right, I'm gonna save before I give this fool any money. Wait. Goodbye. I'm gonna save because. I don't want to just keep giving all my money away. All right, let's try this. Okay. I don't know anything about that. Really? If I if all right, let's try and get it to a hundred. Let's tell me. Yeah, they don't know. So like, you can get finessed out of your money real quick out here. Let's see. Um, this guy definitely didn't want to talk to me about it, right? I'm at eighty-five with him, and I had. Dwemer artifacts. What Dwemer artifacts? Persuasion. Let's try to get him to a hundred. Yeah, no, definitely doesn't. So I'm gonna go back and load again. All right. So none of these people want to talk. So. Okay, I'm listening. How did this go again? Right. Well, I'm gonna try and like find it out here. Don't trust them. Why is the glove so shiny? Hmm. No fatigue, then rest, and then ask maybe. Wait, really? I is fatigue the reason that they don't want to tell me, even though, even if my disposition with them is really high? Maybe this man knows. Find someone else to bother. Find someone else to bother. All right, wait. I'm actually doing a job for that. Per well, he thinks I'm doing a job for him. I'm really gonna free the Khajiit, but um. Uh, all right. Dwemer artifacts, doesn't trust me. Let's go. Okay, now tell me. I maybe have some help. Literally no help. None of these people are helping. All right, well, if you guys don't want to tell me. Speak, traveler. Everyone in Hlaud is going to be rich. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm literally all my life savings are going towards um, these fools that don't want to give me any information. How wonderful. Fatigue influences everything, even interaction with NPCs. That's actually wild. Well, let's try and rest. Let's try and- Oh wait, I can't rest out here though. I need to get out of Hla'od if I'm gonna rest. And I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna rest and then come back full fatigue. Can I wait here? Nope. Can I wait here? Nope. What about here? Nope. What about here? Nope. Here? Here. I can't rest because enemies already right. All right, let's do this. Oh my god, look at how this thing hops around in the wa- Jesus. You can't speak properly with fatigue, so it makes sense. I guess, yeah, it's like, do I have artifacts? Yeah, he doesn't get it. Alright. Can I wait? I can wait, but I can't rest. How am I still in Hla'od? It's like a mile away at this point. Wait, if I rest for an hour though, I'll still get regenerated, right? I'm such an idiot, dude. I am such an idiot. Oh my god. I keep doing this as well. I keep like walking out of the town. Can't trust a fatigued person. Yeah, you're right. Absolutely not. Okay, let's try this again. I'm gonna get those Dwemer artifacts out of him somewhere. Alright, poor Rabina is actually gonna get stuck somewhere because of me. I'm actually like not letting her catch up with me at all. Alright. Um... Oh. Welcome, hey, alright. Can you tell me now? I'm not that fatigued anymore. Like, I'll wait another hour. No, doesn't want to talk about it. What about... Wait, background, smuggler, 
Anything else I can ask him? Cloud, Bitter Coast region. Yeah, no, he doesn't really want to tell me about it. Okay, that's fine. That's all right. Let me check all your crates. That's a locked chest. Barrel. Where? What were they again? They were, um... Wait, this is all the Rabina stuff. Alright, Dremor artifacts. So, she wants a goblet, a bowl, and a tube. Fadil Balville, I heard Rajid at the Fat Legs drop off was looking for a buyer. Well, if he's looking for a buyer, he doesn't really want to barter and he doesn't want to tell me about them. So, getting hotter. Getting hotter? Wait, hold on. Yo, thank you, David, for the sub. So, I, I checked all these crates. Wait, let me check all the rest of them. Oh, hold on. Lock level 35. Oh, thank you, Lopez, for the follow. Welcome. All right, wait. Oops. Excuse me. What about those crates? I really don't need you. Wait, go. Goodbye. No. Surely this guy isn't selling them. Wait, bowl, cup. But they're not dwarven. They're just stuff. Yeah, they're, this is just stuff. He doesn't sell them. He just sells crap. And he doesn't want to tell me about the artifacts. Okay, wait. Where could they be? Oh god. Hey, Zai, hola, ¿cómo estás? Bowl? Yeah, he's- I need a bowl. Hold on. Oh my god. Is it in here? It's literally in this chest, right? How can I unlock this? Hold on, I have unhinging. It does 40 to 60. Okay. We got this, wait. Okay, 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 okay. Look, we're gonna save. On top of this. He's standing on his chest now because he's worried. Wait, that's 75. Alright, I'm gonna try this. That's literally it though. Run! Everybody get out! Rabina, let's go! Oh, they're not gonna do shit. They're not gonna do shit, because they're a couple of illegals also. Oh my god. We just found it. Amazing. And I did it all by myself too. I am the sharpest tool in the shed. Thanks, chat. <laughs> that was all just to prove something. Hold on, Balmora is that way. Wow. If only you had the wooden bowl. I have something better now. I have all my quest items. Wait, did I actually take them? Yeah, I did. Hell yeah! Oh my god. Skedaddle! Yep, we're out of here. Hippity hoppity, your Dwemer artifacts are now my property. Come on, Rabina, this isn't that hard. Where is it that I was meant to take her, by the way? Neil, thank you so much for the follow. So she wanted to go to Ebonheart. Oh shit, that's like... That's like uber far, isn't it? She wants to go there! Wait, can I, um... Oh gosh, okay. Is it possible to travel with her? Should we get on that boat? Will, will she go on the boat with me if I fast travel with her, chat? Does anyone know? Yeah, that was the lack of wooden bowls in this playthrough. is disappointing. Dude, I'm starting to get disappointed over the lack of wooden bowls, and I don't even know what they're for. I have, you have so many cool Morwen things to say. <laughs> gonna keep it- that, that, that's all I got. Dude, this is the only thing I've got going for me. Of course it's gonna have to be cool every time. Um, yeah, will I- will she come with me if I fast travel with her on this? Surely I can get to Ebonheart on a boat. 
Let's go, my lady. Wait, let's actually go and um on this. <sighs> Is no one gonna tell her? Tell me what? Now check the top of the hill. What hill? Okay, all right. Make it quick, Outlander. Wait. Everyone knows you've got a price on your head. I don't want any trouble. Just won't leave me alone. Just leave me alone. I won't call the guards. Oh shit. What's that on your head? Por Dios. Where? On my head? There's nothing on my head. Oh, the the Colombian fur helm. Don't be mean. It's a special. Right, I'm gonna save and I'm gonna check this. Wait. <coughs> uh, Ebonheart. Did she come? She did come with me! Alright, where's her friend at? Oh, who oh shit. character that is the colovian fur helm the single most fashionable item in the entire game it's actually abyss so okay wait uh who did she want to meet so her friend is called he's at the argonian mission that's a place around here right wait let me open the map uh okay Legion Garrison, Southwest. Hold on. Skyrim mission, Argonian mission. Let's go. Oh, look! A fellow Colovian fur hat connoisseur. Nice. I love how small wood elves are in um, Morrowind. You have a bounty. Yeah, but I mean, all the uh, handsome cats in Vardenville have a bounty, so it doesn't matter. Surely the Thieves Guild will take care of it for me, right? Get out of the way, dude. My Khajiit is coming over here. There we go. Um, well, I don't really need anything from you. So, Skyrim mission, Argonian mission, that's this way. Uh, fun fact, the first time I did this quest, I, uh... I ran all the way from Hlaod to Ebonheart on foot with her following me. Because I didn't know you can get to Ebonheart on a boat. Rabina will find her way to safety. She will stay in this place and find one who will help. Cool. Rabina. Yes. And where's the friend? Is it this guy? Uh, Rabina. I got 400 gold for that. Cool. Nice, goodbye. I love saving people. Sorry, I only date guys with Colombian fur homes. Exactly. Uh, if any of you guys use, uh, dating apps, you gotta make sure that you include a picture of yourself with a Colombian fur helm. I feel like that is what will get you a date. In fact, I guarantee it. From personal experience, of course. Uh, okay. Where was I going at all? What was I doing in Cloud? Oh yeah, I need to get back to Balmora. That's it, that's it. Let's actually take the boat uh, around to Vivek. And let's take the Salt Strider. In the place you stole, right next to the chest, there was a cellar door. Don't know if you already went down there or not. Yeah, I went down the cellar door and I got the Khajiit out of there. I saved her life. Alright, travel. La Ode. Tell Barnora. Vivek. Let's go Vivek. Vivek. And then I'm gonna take this illustrator to Balmora and I'm gonna tell everyone in the Thief's Guild that I did what had to be done. I'm sure that's why I didn't have luck with dating apps. No helm, exactly. You could just Photoshop the Colombian for a helm, and it works just as good. Yeah, you know what? You get points for um, creativity if you do that. So absolutely, you could. 
Let's go back to Balmora. Balmora, yeah. I did that too. I walk when you can run. First play memories are so cringe, yeah. But it's funny though. It's funny. The prey approaches. But what if you're a heavy build? Does it any build that doesn't have a Colloquian for a helm is an L build, I'm sorry. What other headgear could you possibly want? Hey, I got your stuff. Yes, here they are. Your journal's been updated. Two master lockpicks. I've gotten two master lockpicks and two probes, so I can disable trapped stuff now, right? Journeyman's armor's hammer has been added to inventory. Cool. All right, and advancement? No one questions your skills as a thief, but some question your loyalty. You should do more jobs. All right. And that was, uh, ironically, the hardest job I've had to do. Uh, Raylan Hlalu died recently, but left a bottle of vintage brandy. The vintage brandies in Hlalu Manor bring this brandy to Havasi. Gotcha. It's in Hlalu Manor. I'm pretty sure I know where that is. I can't bully you in English, so you're in a safe space. Uh -huh. A ver, dímelo. Pero dímelo así, aquí, estoy aquí. Yo estoy preparada. Yo estoy más que acostumbrada, Licha. No hay nada que tú me puedes decir que me va a herir. Así es. Ni en inglés, ni en español. Hasta en ruso. Tal vez en alemán. Si me podrías decir algo en alemán, tal vez eso me ofendería, pero... De otra, no. ¿Es el Photoshop en the Fur Helmet the same thing as catfishing? No. Yo, again with the sl dude, these people, they won't leave me alone about Dagother. What a stand-up guy. Shut up, dude. I don't want to talk to you. Just think of it like filters. Exactly. But better. So, I need a bottle of vintage brandy. Tu español está muy bien, eh? Pues... Espero que sí. Yo... Ando ya cinco años hablando en español. ¿No? ¿Cinco? Si son como cinco ya. Bueno, algo así. Uh, Lalu Manor. Hold on. There it is. Is that it? Let's look for that brandy. It's Khajiit fishing. Se nota más tu acento ruso cuando hablas en español. Hermosa. A ver, la verdad, antes yo tenía un acento ruso muy fuerte cuando hablaba en español. Pero ahora no. No tanto. Lalu Manor is locked. What do you mean it's locked? Why would it be locked? They should have left the doors wide open for me. They knew I was coming. This is rude. How could they have closed the doors? What is this a different entrance? Hat fishing. Actually, that's that's really good. El bullying viene desde una inspiración, desde una situación particular. Bullying solo por hacerlo, solo es crueldad. Right. Eso también, eh? Wait. The door really is locked. Well, you know what? Um. Where's my master lockpick? Where did it- where did she give it me? This is it. Okay. Alright, let's uh... Can somebody see me right now? I'm just gonna save just in case. Cheeto. Yeah. Come on. Recently, and nobody, nobody picked him up. <laughs> He's just lying there, dude. What the fuck? This is fucked up. Am I like the first person? Wait, is this it? Vintage brandy? I'll take that. Yo, yo, I. Oh, I'm overburdened. But okay, wait. Uh, what can I drop? Dude, I don't even know. The ebony weighs like 10. I know, but I really want this, some of this stuff at least. The ring. Can I like, what can I drop? Should I drop the hammers? I mean, yeah, screw the hammers. Oh, I'll use them actually. On my, on my armor. 
I'll use them. It's been used up. And then I'll close this and I'll- oh, wait, can I move? No. I need to use the other hammer really quick. Oh, it's been used up. Cool, cool, cool. Alright. The dead guy cart hasn't come yet. I mean, they've just left him there. Taking his brandy is honestly the least of his worries. <laughs> Where's his family? How's Halalu supposed to be like a big deal, is it not? Uh, where's my silver short sword? There it is. Okay. Nothing to see here, officer. Oh, your back was turned. How convenient. Okay. Uh, let's go back. Ancient Dagoth brandy upstairs. Wait, what? Did I not take the right brandy? Vintage brandy. Hold on. And what have I picked up? Flynn. Well, this says vintage brandy, so I'm pretty sure this is what I needed. Pro Morrowind playthrough, always drunk with it. With a doomstack of Sujama. Jesus, you scared me. Oh my god. Does the one in House Balmora still have infinite storage? Does the one house in Balmora still have infinite storage? I know absolutely nothing about that. Weight slash value ratio. Morrowind, let's go, yeah. Wait. Okay, cool. Do you want something from me? Hey, I did the thing. I got the vintage brandy. I have it. A thousand Oh my god, she just gave me a thousand gold for that piece of shit. What? Jesus. Alright. Do I get an advancement now? Surely. You are now Cheeto the Black Cap. Actually, it's yellow, but whatever, you might be colorblind. Uh, cool. So, huh. Do I, um, what? What's the next thing? Fort Pelagiat's Jail holds a member of the guild, New Shoes Bragger. Uh, Hibasi knows a way to free new shoes. Meb Mebestein, NC in Pelagiat, smuggles Dwemer items. Shadback Graborbug takes bribes from Mebestein. Fetch a mysterious Dwemer device from Mebestein's shop and take it to Shadback. Tell Shadback to let new shoes go, or you'll let everyone know Shadback takes bribes. We're finally on to the blackmail stage of the game. I'm very glad. A call's always worth selling. All houses have infinite storage, to my knowledge. Like, as in... The chests in them, they don't run out of space. Cool. What is this? Honor among thieves. Many admirers ask Arnie, how can I become a flash and prosperous fellow like you? And I tell them, you want to join a guild. The guild. Make friends, be part of something. But who can join, they ask. We're just like any other trade guild. We've got requirements, and if you want to advance in the ranks, we've got standards. You want to be fast and agile. You want to move undetected. You want to know about security, locks, traps, and how to get around them. You want to defend yourself. You travel light and fast. All right, so this is like the charter, but for thieves, right? Like, don't steal from other thieves. Oh, look at how cute she is. Look at that outfit. Did she just say friend? Absolutely, I am your friend. Oh my God. I love the vibes here. This is such like um wait, I literally have the same look. I got this going on too. In my room. These are plastic, by the way. People keep asking me um about these. They think they're real. No, these are plastic. But they look cool, especially on the beige curtains. So there you go. I got this going on. Alright, guys. Well, it is almost 1 a.m. here in Ireland, so I might wrap it wrap it up for the day. If that's all cool. And, um, yeah. Outside, or is it inside? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> right, let's save. Um, yeah, cool. All right. Exit Warwind. Oh, shit. So, how was today's stream? Did you guys enjoy it? Did you guys have a good time? This guy clears bounties. Oh, the the lizard? Alright, well, there you go. That's something we can do the next time. 
Just drop your valuables on the ground. Why? Why would I do that? What class and race do you play in WoW and why? Well, I just started an undead warlock on hardcore and self-made hardcore. I'm loving these. Glad I got to catch one live. I'm really glad. Yeah, it's really fun. Um, it's, it's, it's just been really fun. Thank you guys for joining in. Happy Women's Day. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. You know what? Actually, for Russian people, uh, Women's Day, like just in Russian culture in general and in Eastern Europe in general, to be honest, uh, Women's Day, 8th of March is actually a very big deal. So I really appreciate the... Um, remembering that thank you so much have a great night angelica good night or morning it's going to be night for me i'll be heading to bed it is 1 a.m i got here late well the vods stayed up so uh whoever missed the stream you can catch the vod instead so many save files i know i know thank you for the stream and have a good night thank you guys so much es verdad el ocho es día de mujer muchísimas gracias sí lo es um that hammer thing was gold. That hammer thing was some of my best work. I'm very proud. I think that that's probably like, I don't know. I didn't focus and do that well in school as I did with that hammer. If these will be a regular thing, you should make a schedule. Yeah, it is a little bit hard for me to make a schedule at the moment just because of my injury. So sometimes I just don't feel very good. And so, um, yeah, so I can't. Uh, thanks for the stream. I keep missing the first hour, lol. So set the bell on the subscription. Yeah, sure. Uh, you guys make sure to, I guess, set the bell on the subscription if you are subscribed to this channel. And then that way you should be notified when I go live. Hopefully. I know that YouTube isn't um, always the best for notifying. Sometimes you might be notified like tomorrow, the day after the stream is done. But anyways, yeah, Petrovic, good night to you too. Um, yeah. Great. Have a good night, everyone. And um, I don't know when we'll do the next stream. Hopefully as soon as possible. I've got to uh, work on the video as well that we'll have coming out soon. So uh, I will spend some time doing that instead of streaming a couple of the days. But either way, this will be like a regular, semi-regular thing because uh, I'm enjoying Morrowind too much. Honestly, initially going into this when I did the first stream, I thought I was going to do like one Mormon stream a week. But uh, I've been having so much fun doing them that like it's very hard to just do like once a week. So I'm going to be doing them like more regular than that. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in. It was really fun talking to you all. Thank you for all the help as well. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Be seeing you. Outland.